Done, boy. You're finished already. Look at me. Look at me. You know you're done. You are. Ali. Ali. يقاتل المسلمون اليهود فيقتلهم المسلمون ويختبئ اليهود وراء الحجر والشجر فينادي الحجر والشجر قائلا يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي خلفي تعالى فاقتل إلا الغرقد فإنه من شجر اليهود And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life You are Hello and welcome. We are live on air. How is everybody? I hope everybody is doing okay. God bless you. Welcome everybody. I hope that my sound is loud and clear. Give me one if you can hear me guys so we can start. <clears throat> I hope that my voice is good. Thank you for the confirmation, Debit Rai. Welcome, admins, Debit Rai, Carolina, Romeo, Sandra, Sila, Mihai, Gabriel, Theo Phyllis, Zoraida, Lee Lynch, Alkis, Cody Evans, Inky, Michael, Sanjaya, Tony, welcome. Red Phil, how are you? Riaz Qureshi, welcome my friend, how are you? We have a lot of uh, people, sorry if I cannot mention your name. We have also a Muslim who uh, does not dare to call me. This Maya Chudi, Maya Chudi, you're calling us trolls. I mean, if you have the courage and the knowledge and you think that you are a follower of the religion of truth, why are you such a scared Abdul and don't dare to call us? Why are you so scared, man? If you think you have the true religion, Deen al haq call me. What's wrong with you? Right? You are not worthy of my time. And clearly, I am because you are coming to our live show. We see you here in the live chat. Uh, Maya Chudi, I think you are a coward. You are a son of a coward. That's what you are, right? So you are only looking for excuses, which is a behavior of a troll. <laughs> Boo hoo, kid. Just sit down and maybe you can learn something then. Coward. Thank God I'm not you. Thank God. Thank God that I'm a follower of the truth, right? Who is the truth? Jesus Christ. Our Lord and Savior, right? I am the follower of truth. And who is the truth himself? Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth and life, right? So if you are a follower of Jesus, you are a follower of the truth. This is why we are not scared to debate, right Muslims? Maya Churi says this kind of behavior this kind of behavior of behavior shows you are trying to get my emotional reactions only. This is pathetic. You're a coward, man. Who is the pathetic one? You or me? At least I'm not a coward and a pathetic like you. Sit down, kid, and maybe you can learn something. Guys, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button, guys. Help me to help you. You know how YouTube works by now. Also, if you want to subscribe to our social media or want to support us through Patreon, you can do so. We uh, have a full-time ministry. I hope there will going to be Muslims for today's topic. Are there any contradictions in the Quran? Are there any contradictions in the Quran? But before we start, guys, I want to ask you to pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior. So our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, can bless our live stream. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience and subscribers. Lord, thank you for your grace. We believe, O oh Holy Lord Jesus, that you are truly risen. And indeed, you are risen. Al-Masih Qam, 
حَقًا قَام That's what we say in the Arabic as Arabic speaking Christians المسيح قام حقا قام Truly Jesus is risen Lord thank you for your ultimate gift and thank you for your grace that saved us from death Thank you so much Lord but because because of you we are saved and thank you for this lovely audience and subscribers who are always here to support us almost every day week in week out please bless them and bless their families of loved ones please Lord and keep us all healthy and safe especially from the spread of this Corona virus. I meant to say the Corona, Corona virus. Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and actions. Give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give into discouragement, taqiyya, any maker of Allah, Satan, lies, or any doubt, Lord. Please help us honor you in all our ways. Lord, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us, including the Muslims who curse us at least 17 times a day when they pray five times, their daily five, five prayers. Maybe there are some of them who are truly seeking for the truth. So please open also their eyes and shine your holy light on them, please Lord, so they can also be saved like we are saved. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today so I can speak the truth without any error or any shame. Lord, give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome. We are live on air and today we'll have the opportunity to investigate if there are any contradictions in the Quran. Are there any contradictions in the Quran? Anything that we can find today will be used against Muhammad, i.e. the Prophet of Islam in the court of law. So I hope that Allah is not asleep and will be his personal lifeguard and attorney. And I hope really, I really hope that Allah is going to be present during today's hearing to defend his own Prophet in the court of law. Hopefully there are going to be Muslims who maybe have the courage and the knowledge to debate us on this topic so if you call yourself a man who, and you think you have the courage and the knowledge our Skype is open all right you see my Skype is open for now only Muslim guests can call us we'll see after the teaching if there are no Muslims we are going to open Skype also for Christians all right so if you're a Christian don't call me now call me at the end okay Carolina, thank you so much, sister. Carolina says in the super chat, congrats on being a daddy. Thank you so much, sister. God bless you too. Big love and hugs for your wife and the baby. God bless you and family. God bless you too. Thank you for the super chat, sister. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslims? Do we have any Muslims? Except this coward uh, who came to, uh, you know, look for excuses. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for your congratulations. Are there, are there any Muslims? Or are we stuck with this coward only? Okay. Not many Muslims yet. Okay. All right. Let us start then, guys. Let us start, right? If you ask Muslims, if we ask Muslims, are you Muslims? Muslim men, are you allowed to marry Christian women? What do you think Muslims will say, guys, in the live chat? Thank you, Mr. Arun. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Walter. God bless you, my friend. What would Muslims say? Can a Muslim man marry a Christian woman? 
Nina, are you sure? Nina, Ya Rab, are you sure? When you ask any Muslim, are you allowed to marry Christian or Jewish women from the people of the book, right? We, they call us people of the book, right? The Jews and the Christians. Are Muslim men allowed to marry Christian women? They will say yes. That's their answer going to be, right? So the people who said no, you're wrong. That's, you know, that's what they said, right? When we ask them, when we ask Muslims, are you allowed to marry our women? They will say yes. Are we Christians allowed to marry Muslimas? They will say no, right? Only for the men. Only for the men, right? Not for the women. <laughs> so, let's see if this, what the Quran says about it, guys. Let us see what the Quran says about this. Right? Let us see if the Quran agrees with the Muslims. Are Muslims allowed, are Muslim men allowed to marry Christian women? Let us see. Let us see if these Muslims of today who marry Christian women, if they are out of Islam, the moment you marry a Christian woman, are you out of Islam or not? Let's see, guys. Let us see what the Quran says. Now, if we go to chapter 5, if we go to chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, let me give you the link. Guys, make sure to <clears throat> copy uh, the links, bookmark them, save them for your debates with Muslims. Jane Miller, thank you for your super chat too. God bless you. Thank you for the donations, guys. Thank you for your support through donations. Chapter 5, Ayah 5, it says, This day... The pure things are made lawful for you. Okay. Pure things are made lawful for you. And the food of the people given the books. Who are those? Those are the Jews and the Christians. Wait. Guys, did you do you see what the what's wrong here? Hey Riaz Qureshi, thank you also for the super chat. Riaz Qureshi says, keep up the good work. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Guys, you really, man, I, I don't know what to say, guys, really. I really don't know what to say. You, you guys rock, man. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for your support. <clears throat> so the pure things are made lawful for you. And the food of the people given the books. Who are those? The Jews and the Christians. But wait, Christians, they eat pork. Uh-oh. What? Christian Dan says, Ahla Rab Bil Alam. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. He says in the Arabic, uh, the, beautiful, the most beautiful Rob in the world. <laughs> my friend, you don't want to see me in real life, man. You're going to get shocked. <laughs> I'm not that beautiful as you think, you know? you know. I mean, Muslims call us all kind of, you're, you're a dog, you're ugly, you're disgusting you know so go figure <laughs> so guys this you know this is on itself you know this on itself is a contradiction i mean if you are allowed as a muslim to eat food of christians that means you are allowed to eat pork right you're allowed to eat pork and how did pork become pure muslims this is a contradiction. This is a contradiction. Yes, Christians are allowed to eat everything. Johnny, you should know better. Christians, we are not under the old covenant anymore. Jesus said, it's not what is goes inside you, what defiles you, but what comes out of your mouth, that, that is what defiles you. That's what Jesus said, right? So it's not what you eat that makes you dirty or filthy. It's what can come out of your mouth, your words. You know, you, you, maybe you are not eating pork. Let's say you, you, you claim to be a Christian, right? And you don't eat pork and, uh, and you know, you, but what comes out of your mouth is nasty, right? Disgusting stuff, words, filthy behavior from your mouth. That's what makes you dirty, not what goes inside you. Right? So here, how did pork 
become pure? Because people of the book, the Christians, can eat pork. Right? So take notes, guys. That's actually not the thing that I wanted to talk about. I wanted to show you, are Muslim men married, uh, allowed to marry Christian women? That's the question, right? If we scroll down, it says, And likewise, are virtuous Muslim women are lawful for you, they are pure for you, right? And virtuous women from the people of the received books. Who are those, guys? Who are the women of the received books? Anyone? Who are the women of the received books? I hope you are paying attention, guys. Who are those? The Jews and the Christians. Exactly. Thank you, Nina. You hit the jackpot. Uh, Marvel MCU. Marvel MCU, you're a Muslim, right? Marvel MCU, you're a Muslim, right? Can you confirm? Marvel MCU, you're a Muslim. Right? Yes. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Mr. Muslim, Mr. Muslim, Mr. Marvel, do you have a mic? Do you have a microphone? Mr. Muslim, do you have a microphone? Can you call me? Do you want to debate on this? No, you can't call me? Oh, that's bad. Okay. Uh, Mr. Marvel, MCU, no, no problem, no problem. No problem. Maybe you need to ask Santa when it's Christmas soon, ask Santa for a microphone better microphone and then you can call us right i'm going to insult no i'm i'm asking questions mr marvel mr marvel and mr maya shudi you are both muslims are you allowed as muslims are you allowed to marry as a muslim christian women yes or no i'm asking the muslims in the live chat can you as a muslim Men, marry Christian women. No, don't say I think yes. Either it's yes or no. Don't give me uh, such answers. Is it a yes or a no? I don't say I think yes. Guys, I want an, a straight answer. Either a yes or no. See? Is it... Are you scared to even answer with a yes or a no? What's what's this, man? Yes? Okay, Marvel MCU says yes, guys. It's recorded. It's recorded, right? Let me put it also in a text. He said yes, right? He said yes. You can't go back anymore. Okay, let's see if that's true. Let's see if that's true. Mr. Uh, MCU, Mr. Marvel MCU, we Christians, when we worship Christ, Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Are we mushrikun? Are we mushrikun when we worship Jesus as our Lord and Savior? Mr. Uh, MCU, Marvel MCU. Are we mushrikun? He says yes again, guys. According to him, when we worship Jesus, we are mushrikun. Okay, great. Thank you. Guys, it's recorded. It's recorded. The Muslim in the live chat says yes so we are mushrikun i have a surprise for you my friend because according to chapter 5 you are allowed to marry christian women right here it's in front of you chapter 5 ayah 5 so you agree with this ayah good but chapter 2 i have a surprise for you brother chapter 2 surah al-baqarah ayah 221 says the following do not marry idolatresses what are you going to do with this now until they believe. So you just said, you confirmed to everybody in the live chat, Mr. Marvel MCU, you said, you Christians, when you worship Jesus, you are mushrikeen, mushrikun. You are idolatrous. You are kafir. But in chapter 2, ayah 221, it says, do not marry mushrikun. Do you see it? Al Mushrikati, do not do nikah with Al Mushrikati. By the way, guys, it's not marriage actually, it's nikah, right? It's effing, right? 
it's sexual intercourse. So here we have a contradiction, Mr. Marvel. Mr. Marvel, we have a contradiction. You just called us mushrikeen. We Christians, when we worship Jesus, we are mushrikeen. So what are you going with, to do with this ayah? What are you going to do with this? Are you going to throw it in the toilet? Are you going to throw it in the garbage bin? Uh-oh. We have a huge contradiction, guys. Chapter 5 contradicts chapter 2, ayah 221. Let me give you the link, guys. Save them. If you want to help us, guys, if you want to help me, help me to help you, save our links, save our sources that we share with you. Don't be lazy, guys. Thank you, Sean Guy. And thank you for the super chat, my friend. God bless you. So, Mr. Marvel, Mr. Marvel, are you going to throw the Quran? Are you going to throw the Quran of Allah in the toilet? I hope you will splash. I do. I I doesn't say. You doesn't say. Okay, you need to work on your English. Not that my English is really that good, but he says I doesn't say don't marry mushrik, but it says don't marry pagans. Yeah, yeah, donkey ibn donkey. What does it say here? Do you want me to play this part, guys? I'm going to play it because this guy is lying now. Look at the taqiyah. Guys, let me copy what he just said. Look at his taqiyah, guys. Look at his taqiyah. Look at this guy's taqiyah. Idiot. Let me play this part, guys. Watch. What does it say? You see it? Idiot. So, are you going to leave Islam? Because how can Allah claim to be God and contradict himself? I want to know, how can you be a Muslim, follow such a God who can contradict himself? Tell me, I want to understand. Right? Don't F, don't F, don't do sexual intercourse with al-mushrikati, which, which means the mushrik women, right? Here we have a huge contradiction, guys. Um, Dalili, Dalili, if I am a Christian and I worship Jesus, I'm, am I a pagan? You idiot. Dalili, you want to have a cake and eat it too, you idiot. Not every Christian is a mushrik. <laughs> Not every Christian is a mushrik. Really? Is that so? I have another surprise for you, you idiot. I have another surprise for you. Not every Christian is a mushrik. No, no, no. Now let's see what Allah says. And when Allah said, O Jesus, son of Mary, did do said unto the men, take me and my mother as gods apart from Allah? Who are the followers of Christ? Those are the Christians. Do you see what it says here? When you take someone and, and associate someone. This is a really bad translation, by the way. Let me see if we can find one with Allah. God. There's nothing called God. It's Allah. Anyway. Because Ilah means God in Arabic, right? But you get the idea. Two deities apart from Allah. Do you see it, guys? Wow! So are you a mushrik, you idiot? Are you a mushrik when you worship Mary, according to the ayah, and Isa, besides Allah? Yes, you are. Do you see it? Do you see the problem, guys? Welcome to Islam and its contradictions, brother. Do you see how Dalili, guys, do you see how Dalili and Marvel MCU just throw Allah and Muhammad under the bus? Do you see how Muslims of today throw Allah under the bus and his prophet? Congratulations, man. You just threw Allah under the bus, man. Congratulations. Guys, give them a rose. Give these guys a huge con uh, congratulations, applaud, 
and give them a lot of roses, guys. You are making my job much easier. Congratulations, man. You just become all apostates. Congratulations. Congratulations, man. Clap, clap, clap for you. Big rose for you. I salute you. You just left Islam, Marvel MCU, Dali Lee, and that other donkey. You all left Islam today. Welcome. Congratulations, you left Islam during Ramadan. The month of Ramadan. Shahru Ramadan. Congratulations, man. Right? Are you a Muslim, guys, when you throw Allah and his prophet under the bus? No. Right? So you see, when you worship Jesus, what does Allah says more, guys? Let us see what Allah says about people who, you know, Christians who worship Jesus. Let's see. Chapter 9, Ayah 30. This is really a false de translation, disgusting translation. So let me switch it up, guys. The Jews say, watch, guys. The Jews say, there's nothing called Ezra. Uzair is Allah's son. Guys, I hope you are taking notes. Let me give you the ayah, okay? Let me give you the ayah. Help me to help you poop market saver. Spank these lying Muslims. The Jews say Ezra is Allah's son. And the Christians say the Messiah is the son of Allah. When we go down a little bit, it says, May Allah destroy them. So are you, are you a mushrik when you associate al Masih? Christ with Allah, yes, you are a mushrik, and Allah is going to ruin you. May Allah destroy you. Are you a mushrik, you idiot? No, Austin O'Keeve, Catholics do not worship Mary, right? That's a lie. Marvel MCU, you idiot. Again, I'm going to keep calling you an idiot as long you are throwing Allah and his prophet under the bus. Mr. Marvel MCU says when it said we can marry people of the book, they are only mushriks we can marry. They are the only mushriks we can marry? No, you idiot. No, you idiot. Here is why. Where does it say that? It says do not marry mushrikat. Even a believing a Muslim slave girl, do you see it? Even a believing Muslim slave girl is better than a mushrika. You liar! Do not! Is this not clear language to you, you idiot? Why are you adding? Why are you doing bid'ah? You are out of Islam, my friend. Why are you reforming Islam? Why are you adding to the Quran of Allah? You are again for the second time out of Islam. Congratulations, man. Today, you know, the Muslims are making my job much easier. It, guys, I hope you are enjoying the spanking today. Thank you, Lord, for giving me this gift to know how to destroy these liars and deceivers. Thank you. You Muslims are making my job much easier. Mr. Marvel MCU, you said, I am not a liar, I'm just... I am just not stupid, can add two and two. Yes, you can add two and two here. Yeah. When you add two and two, it becomes three, only in Islam, right? Two and two means three, right, uh, Mr. Abdul? Because clearly it says, do not marry, right? Do not marry idolatrous. Then in chapter five, it says, you are allowed to marry idolatrous. Which one is it? Are you allowed? Guys, don't, um, admins. Allow them to sp uh, spill their poison, guys, okay? Admins, allow the Muslims to spill their poison. Because <laughs> these people are helping us, as you see, to destroy this their own cult with their own hands, with their own mouth, with their own fingers when they type. We know they are cowards, they don't dare to call me, but they get spanked anyway. Right? We are spanking their prophet, we are spanking their Allah, fake dead Allah and his fake dead prophet Muhammad we are spanking them left and right and only thing they can do these Muslims they are dancing do you see how they are 
jumping. Do you see how they are tap dancing, guys? Poor people, man. I don't want to be you, Muslims. Thank God that I'm not you. To defend such disgusting, contradicting man-made religion. Yeah, they are belly dancing like Allah. Exactly, Saint Elora. Welcome, sister. How are you? Do you see that Islam cannot be defended, guys? The moment you start to defend Islam, you're going to become the joker of the life chat. You're going to tap dance like Allah and His Prophet. Michel van der Vlies says, the contradiction called Quran. Exactly, bro. Uh, Mr. Primordial Belief, Mr. Primordial Belief, do you have Skype? I challenge you for a live Skype debate right here, right now. Do you have Skype? My Skype ID is Dear Rob Christian. Do you have the, the courage to call me? Mr. Primordial Belief, do you have the courage to call me? I challenge you. Right here, right now. But make sure everything you say, I will use it against you and your prophet in the court of law. That's my promise to you. Rob, you're not intellectual enough. Well, it seems that I'm intellectual enough because I can spank your prophet and bust his lies. And I can spank your Allah, the dead moon idol Allah. So you are triggered, right? You are scared. You cannot call me. Because you get you you know you got go getting to get spanked, right? Right. Marcel MCU says now he, now he's feeling the heat. Guys, 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 watch this, watch this. Look what Marcel MCU now is saying. Look, Marcel MCU now he knows that he is starting to feel the heat. He knows we found a contradiction in the Quran. He says, and I quote. Which surah came before chapter 2 or 5? So are you saying suddenly after all these years, after 1400 years, all the Muslims who married Christian women, all the Muslims, even, maybe even your cousin, let's say your cousin married a Christian lady two weeks ago. Was he, is he out of Islam? <laughs> is the Quran only for today guys? Or for yesterday or 1400 years ago or is it for the future? You see guys what's happening? <laughs> he knows that this is a clear, crystal clear contradiction. Now he's throwing the Quran of Allah under the bus. He's throwing his own prophet under the bus. Until today, till today when you ask any Muslim, they say, yes, we are allowed to marry Christian women. You disgusting liars. Shame on you. But wait, if you are a Muslim, you're going to tap dance. When you see the heat, you feel the heat in your neck. You're going to tap dance, you're going to use taqiyya because debating with Christians is deception. You have to use deception when you get cornered. You have to use taqiyya, right Mr. MCU? Congratulations man for being a deceiver like your Allah. Allahu khayrul makareen. You know, when I mean, Allah is the best of deceivers. I mean, if Allah can deceive, do you think you cannot deceive like a Muslim? As a Muslim? Of course. Exactly. You see how these Muslims are frauds like their prophet? Exactly, Carolina. That's my point. This is why I chose today's topic. To show you what kind of scammers, what kind of fraud people these Muslims are of today. Right? Yes, I can say that every Trinitarian Christian worships Jesus. If you don't worship Jesus, you are not a Christian. You idiot. Don't be an idiot. Every Christian who does not worship Jesus, he's not a Christian. Mr. More Than Money says we can marry Mushrik. Are you sure? Because chapter 221 says do not marry Mushrik. Did you just call your prophet and Allah liars, Mr. More Than Money? Did you just call your own prophet a liar and a deceiver? Congratulations, man. Congratulations, man. Uh-huh. 
congratulations. Guys, give, give him a big rose. Everyone in the chat, give this guy a big rose. He just busted Allah, called Allah and Muhammad liars. You see these people, you know, you're making my job easy, man. <laughs> Lord of mercy. <laughs> uh, thank you for the super chat, uh, Mr. JJJ. Try Quran Gateway to see corrupted Quran Mus'hafs. <laughs> thank you for the for the advice. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat, guys. Muslims, you are you are you are you are you're funny, man. To be honest with you, you're throwing Allah and Muhammad under the bus every time, man. Oh, thank God that we are Christians and not Muslims to defend such a, an evil man-made book as the Quran. Do we have any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call me live? Look, my Skype is open, man. Call me live. We are live, man. And to anyone who thinks that you are a Christian if you don't worship Jesus, you're a liar as a Christian if you say, I cannot worship Jesus and be, you know, I, ha I, I don't have to be worship Jesus and co still call myself a Christian. You cannot have a cake and eat it too. You cannot call yourself a Christian and not worship Jesus because that means you're a fake wannabe Christian. Right? Right, guys? Do we have any Abdul who has the courage and the knowledge to call me? Jesus is Lord, exactly. Every Christian must say Jesus is Lord. When we say Jesus is Lord, that means He's God, right? Do we have any Muslim or do we have only cowards, kittens in the live chat? Cowards, man. We already spanked three of them, maybe four. I lost count, guys. How many Muslims have we spanked in the live chat already? Huh? How many Muslims did we already spank them one by one and made them actually leave Islam? All of the Muslims that, who talked in the live chat, you all became apostates. You all throw Allah under the bus and Muhammad. And you dare to call yourself a Muslim? <laughs> you dare to call yourself a Muslim? Rob Christian, don't spank but tickle them. Kuchi kuchi ku. Muslims, you're cute. Kuchi kuchi ku. <laughs> Let me tickle you a little bit. Kuchi kuchi ku. You're cute, Muslims, man. Oh man, oh man. Uh, call me. Indonesia, is that you? Is that you? Wait, is that, you are, you are the guy? Okay, cool. Let me call this guy back. We have a Muslim, a guy who sits in the chat who thinks he has the courage to call. Let's see. This is you, right? Pick up, pick up. Hello? 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 Yes. yes. Ultimate Shirk, it's you, Ultimate Shirk, right? That's Ultimate Daddy, you gonna hang up again? Ult not Ultimate, you're Ultimate Shirk! You just go, donkey, idiot. Waste of time, donkey. This guy has more names than Allah himself. I wanna be Abdul. No, no, don't call me, don't call me. Don't call me. Don't call me. Let me block this idiot. Wanna be Muslim. Follower of Rashad Khalifa, brother. I, I don't wanna waste my time, you know. Uh, my voice it will be gone. The guy will not allow me to speak. Uh, waste of time. Give me a real Muslim. Don't give me a Rashad Khalifa who thinks that Muhammad is not the last messenger. He's not Khatim al Anbiya, right? He believes that Rashad Khalifa is a messenger after Muhammad and he, he dares to call himself a Muslim. He's a, he's a heretical Muslim. My friend, if you go to Mecca, you walk on the streets of Mecca and Medina, Muslims, if they find out that you are a follower of Rashad Khalifa, they will stab you in your heart. They will stab you in the chest like they stabbed your 
last messenger, Rashad Khalifa in the 90s in his own mosque. Sunni Muslim stabbed his master, Rashad Khalifa, in his chest. He's, a, he's not a Muslim, man. Don't, I don't want to waste my time. I want the real Muslims, man. I don't like to spank the same Abdul. And anyway, we already spanked you in the chat. No need to waste my time with a wannabe Muslim. Give me a real Muslim, man. Give me a real Muslim. Anyway. Guys. <clears throat> we have another uh, contradiction. This is, a, this is a day. Guys, if you like to learn about contradictions of the Quran. This is the day. This is the day. Hello, Muslims. Is it me that you're looking for? I am here to show you contradictions, brother. Guys, do you like my voice? You know, you 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 don't want to hear me when I under the shower, man. I make sure that uh, you know every window is closed and everything, you know, because you know I don't want to, you know, I don't want that the neighbors can enjoy my voice, man. You know, you never know. I might sue them for copyright, man, if they steal my songs. Anyway. <clears throat> Let us go and spank Allah and his prophet even more and show you more contradictions. Speaking from Kif, Hira, Hira. Let us understand the difference between a Rasul and a prophet in Islam. And uh, Mr. Uh, Rashad Khalifa boy, Mr. Rashad Khalifa boy, you're going to enjoy this because you're the one who mentioned that one last time in Discord. Differences between Rasul Versus a prophet in Islam. What's the difference, Rob Christian? Well, here you go. According to the majority of the scholars in Islam, a Rasul, a messenger, guys, pay attention, please. Take a selfie, take a snapshot. Guys, take a snapshot on your phone. If you use a phone or, or a print screen or your PC, use this, guys. All right? Because I cannot give you the link because I made this, okay? I cannot give you the link. I made this today. Look how much work we put, guys, for you. And you say, Rob Christian, you are you are lazy. You don't uh, you know you are not teaching us something new? Yes, I'm. I'm going to teach you something new, man. Huh? All right. Differences. The difference between a Rasul, which means a messenger in Islam, versus a prophet in Islam. What's the difference, Rob Christian? Well, here you go. A Rasul, a messenger receives divine inspiration i.e. a message a book or scripture from Allah so a Rasul receives divine inspiration let's say in scripture a scripture like uh, Musa who they call Moses Musa is a Rasul they claim that Isa is a Rasul right they claim that Muhammad is a Rasul because Muhammad received the Quran, right guys? Now you are understanding what's the difference already. In other words, Rasul is on a higher rank than a Nabi, which means a prophet. A prophet, a Nabi, is just a prophet who guides people. So a prophet, a prophet is not necessarily that he always uh, receives divine inspiration. So in other words, guys, we can conclude that every messenger has to be a prophet, but every prophet does not have to be a messenger. You know, this is Islam, guys. This is the logic of Islam. I, you know, don't shoot me. I'm just a messenger. Right? That's the difference. So a prophet is not always a messenger, but the other way around, a messenger is always a prophet who receives divine inspiration. A prophet does not, does not always receive divine inspiration. Do you understand now the difference, guys? Did you catch it? So we can move on. You have to keep this, right? Remind this, because we are going to use this later. All right? Did you catch it, guys? I hope you caught it. Give me one if you caught it. I hope you caught the difference. All right, all right. Uh, Mr. Darth Qibla, he says, I still don't understand how idolaters are Christians. 
How can about Muslims about this when I don't see a contradiction? How are you not seeing a contradiction, you idiot? I, you must be a real idiot if you don't see the contradiction. Abdul, you idiot! Chapter 9, Surah At-Tawbah, Ayah 30. The Jews say, Uzair is the son of Allah. The Christians say, Christ is the son of Allah. May Allah ruin them. May Allah destroy them. Are you a mushrik if you worship Christ as the son of Allah? Yes, you are a mushrik because Allah is going to destroy you, you idiot. Don't be an idiot, man. You cannot have a cake and eat it too. So you see, if you are a Christian, Christians say, the Christians, all the Christians say, the Christians say, Christ is the Son of Allah. That's what they say with their tongues, following assertion made by unbelievers before them. May Allah destroy them. Do you see it? May Allah destroy them. So are we mushrikun when we associate Al-Masih, Al-Masih, and call him, the son of Allah associating a God besides Allah? Yes, we are a mushrik. So we have a huge contradiction, right? Because here in chapter 5 it says, you are allowed to marry Christian women. But in chapter 22, ayah 221, it says, do not marry mushrikun or mushrikat. Do you see the contradiction now? Chapter 930, chapter 930, Back to back with chapter 2, ayah 221, and chapter 5, ayah 5. Again, let me put it in the chat because Muslims are maybe slow. Quran 5, 5, plus Quran 2, 2, 2, 1, plus Quran 9, 30. Back to back. Guys, help me to help you use these three chapters and ayahs to understand the contradiction. Do you see the contradiction? Yes, we see it now. Finally. Now that we can move on, now that we can conclude we found a contradiction, now let me go forward. I really don't care if you don't see it anymore because we showed it to you. We showed it to you. If you want to throw Allah and Muhammad under the bus, be, be my guest. So we can conclude, guys, that Rasul is someone who receives divine revelation, right? Let's say a message in a book form like Quran, Quran, right? Injil, Torah. Musa received the Torah. According to Islam, Isa received the Injil and Muhammad received the Quran, right? Do you see? So they are Rasul. But a messenger, right? must receive a divine revelation, but a prophet is not necessary. So a Rasul in Islam is on a, on a higher rank because he is receiving divine inspiration from Allah. But a prophet can be sent only to guide people. So a prophet does not always receive divine inspiration in Islam. Right? So Rob Christian I got it, so let us move, but don't forget that we just taught you this, okay? Why? You will see why. Everybody knows the story of Moses, right guys? Everybody knows the story of Moses, how he guided his people, his fellow Israelites, in the book of Exodus, from the bond in Egypt, right? He forced... Pharaoh, right, to release the Israelites. And you remember this incident, right? When God splits the sea into two, right? So he, and so that the Israelites can go through the sea, right? When we do some investigation, guys, about the story in, in the Quran, to understand who Moses is, what kind uh, of prophet or Rasul. We already confirmed that Moses, guys, Moses is Rasul, right? Because he received the Torah from Allah. That's what Muslims teach us. That's what Islam teach, teach you, right? But 
If we go to the Quran chapter 19, ayah 51, we're going to show you the contradiction. How, Rob Christian? Wait, just wait, guys. Pay attention, guys, please. I don't want to repeat myself over and over and over, okay? So you have to focus when I say something. Forget about the Muslims in the live chat. They, they, they did not come to learn. If you are truly a seeker of truth, you're already going to leave Islam after the first contradiction that we showed you. Chapter 5, Ayah 5, Chapter 2, Ayah 221, and Chapter 9, Ayah 30. We already proved the con contradiction. Let me make it even more worse for Allah and Muhammad. If we go to Chapter 9, Ayah 51, focus guys, forget about the Muslims in the live chat. Okay, please focus with me. We have more than 239 people watching at the moment. I hope you are focusing with me. You need to be focused, guys, please. Help me to help you. It says, and mention Musa, who is Moses, in the book. Surely he was one purified, and he was an apostle, a prophet. So Moses is a prophet, and at the same time a Rasul, right? He's a Rasul, and he's a prophet. Now, if we go to chapter 19, the same chapter, but two verses later, Ayah 53, it says, and we gave him out of our mercy, his brother, Aaron as a prophet. So we have at the same time, two prophets. We have Musa, Moses, he is prophet in Islam. And we have Aaron, he's also prophet. They are, they are brothers, right? And here's the proof. Quran chapter 28, ayah 34, 35, it says, Moses said, and my brother Aaron, so Aaron and Moses are brothers, is more fluent than me in tongue. And the following one says, Allah said to Moses, we will strengthen your arm through your brother Aaron. So Aaron and Moses, guys, Aaron and Moses are brothers. Aaron is a prophet. Moses is a prophet and they are brothers. Let me put it in the chat for people who are maybe slow. Aaron plus Moses are prophets and brothers, right? And brothers. They are brothers from the same mother, right? They are brothers from the same mother, but at the same time they are prophets too. So what? Ah, uh -huh, guys, so what? Okay, great. Mr. Abdul says, so what? I have a surprise for you. Why, Rob Christian? You, th you know, Rob Christian is always full of surprises, bro. He says, so what? Okay, so what? No problem. Ah, here comes the surprise. Surprise! It's me, Rob Christian. It's the Rob Christian, brother. It says, in Sahih Muslim, let me give you the link. Rob is full of surprise. Guys, copy the link, save it. It's very important. Sahih Muslim. This is not Da'if, this is Sahih. Do you see it? This is the reference, Sahih Muslim, hadith number. Speaking from Kif, Hira, Hira, Iqra, Iqra, read, read. Okay, let me read. Hadith number 23, 65b. Sahih Muslim, hadith number 23, 65b. Sahih, brother. Don't say it's da'if, brother. Abu Huraira reported that Allah's messenger is saying, do you see it? Muhammad is saying, I am most akin to Jesus Christ among the whole of mankind and all the prophets are of different mothers but belong to one religion and no prophet was raised between me and Jesus now pay attention guys what does it say guys can you read it guys what does it say all the prophets are of different mothers uh oh here Muhammad spanked his Allah here Muhammad spanked his Allah because here it says that they are brothers, right? Aaron and Musa are brothers. Aaron and Musa are brothers. Your brother. They are brothers from the same mother. What did Muhammad say? All the prophets are of different mothers. Guys, did Muhammad lie? Did Muhammad lie in Sahih Muslim? They are from different mothers. 
<laughs> but they are still brothers, brother. They are from the same mother, but they are from different mothers. Do you see the contradiction? Did Muhammad lie, guys? Did Muhammad lie? Muhammad is busted, man. Bro, stop busting Muhammad and his Allah. Stop. All the hadith in Sahih Muslim are not Sahih, brother. <laughs> just go, just go, you idiot. Guys, do you see how he's throwing his own prophet under the bus? It's suddenly Sahih Muslim is not Sahih anymore, brother. Sahih Muslim is not Sahih. You, you are an idiot, man. You see the taqiyya? Brother, it says Sahih, 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 Sahih. Do you see it? <laughs> sahih, Sahih. Idiot. Sahih Muslim is not Sahih anymore, brother. <laughs> sahih Muslim is not Sahih, brother. His prophet, he just threw his own prophet under the bus. Can you imagine? It's your prophet who's saying this, man. <laughs> Look who's talking. Muhammad is talking. Do you see it, guys? Muhammad is the one talking. And he says, all the prophets are of different mothers. But belong to one religion. So they are not from the same mother. But we know, we know that Aaron and Moses are from the same mother. They are br brothers, man. Marcel, Marvel MCU says that Muhammad can make a mistake. Muhammad can make a mistake? Doesn't the Quran say, only thing what Muhammad is doing is getting a, re a divine revelation. Everything he says is, get is divine revelation, man. Doesn't the Quran says that? You idiot. Muhammad is Yahya Nuha, right? Muhammad only receives divine revelation, brother. Everything he comes out of his mouth is divine revelation. What are you talking about? See, we have only false Muslims, man. You idiots. You liars, you deceivers. Shame on you. Do we have any real Muslims or do we have only kids? Yahya Nuha, right? He's only, everything that he gets is divine revelation. Everything Muhammad says is from God. Right? Filthy, disgusting liars, man. Shame on you. Disgusting liars, man. Shame on you. What do we know? Muslims of today, they don't have any honor, they have no shame, and they have no dignity. Don't you Muslims say Muhammad is, is the walking Quran? Guys, don't you Muslims claim that Muhammad is the walking Quran? Huh? Guys, do you understand what is happening here? This Abdul just said Muhammad can make a mistake. How is, how can Muhammad make a mistake if Everything what he receives according to the Quran is revelation. Everything he comes out of his mouth is divine revelation. How can guy who everything that comes out of his mouth is a mistake? Are you saying that Allah is a mistake now? The one who is giving him divine revelation can make mistakes. Is that what you're saying? Wow. Do you see how, how they are doing bid'ah now? Do you see how they are adding to the Quran? So if Muhammad can make mistake, if Muhammad can make mistakes and everything that he says is from Allah, then that means Allah can make mistakes. Thank you for telling us that Allah is not God because if Allah claims to be God 
and he can make mistakes, then that means he's not God. Congratulations again. Guys, give this guy a big rose. Please give this guy a big rose. Please. Give him a big rose. Guys in the live chat, give this Muslim a huge rose. Give him roses, guys. Bravo. Yeah, and someone is asking, how can the Prophet of Islam make mistakes? How can Muhammad make mistakes if everything that comes out of his mouth is divine revelation from Allah? Right? You have to obey Muhammad. Everything Muhammad says, you have to obey it. You don't obey Muhammad, that means you're not obeying Allah himself. Doesn't the Quran says that? You liars, shame on you, man. So in other words, everything that, according to Islam, everything that Muhammad said was divine revelation, right? Muhammad is, his other nickname in Islam is the walking Quran. Why would Muhammad get the nickname, the walking Quran, if he can make mistakes? You see the contradiction? All right. Look guys, look, you know, I, I don't like to lie to you guys. Muslims believe that everything he, the Prophet saw, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said about religion was divinely inspired. Do you see it? That's the message of Islam, guys. Muslims believe that everything he, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said about religion was divinely inspired. So, so what you see here from the mouth of Muhammad, right, is divine inspiration, guys. When Muhammad speaks, that means this is divine revelation. Can Allah be mistaken, Muslims? Can Allah be mistaken? How can Allah make mistakes, Muslims? How dare you to call yourself a Muslim and you dare to say that Muhammad can make mistakes because if Muhammad can make mistakes, Allah makes mistakes. Did you just call, did you just call Muhammad a liar? Did you just call Allah a liar, Mr. Muslim, when you said Muhammad can make mistakes? Astaghfirullah. You just called him a liar, man. You just called your prophet and Allah liars. How can Muhammad make mistakes if everything that he says is divine revelation from Allah? We just proved it to you. The message of Islam is Muslims believe that everything he, Muhammad, the prophet, everything that comes out of his mouth said about the religion was divinely inspired. Do you see it? And if we continue reading, it says, He did not conceal anything. Muhammad did not conceal anything that Allah has revealed to him. And, and he did not add anything from himself. So everything he says comes from Allah, guys. Everything Muhammad said and did comes from Allah. You see it? So here, if you say Muhammad is mistaken, that means Allah is mistaken. Can Allah claim to be God and be mistaken? Muslims. So did Muhammad made a mistake? Yes, he made a mistake that proves that there is no Allah. There is no Allah. There is nothing called prophet. Muhammad is a fake prophet. Muhammad, conclusion, Muhammad is the agent of Satan. Everything that he gets is not divine revelation, it's revelation from Satan himself.
Bam! Muhammad is the prophet of Satan. That's the conclusion. Because if Muhammad can make a mistake, and you call it divine inspiration, that means Allah can have make a mistake. Bam! Congratulations. And the guy who said Muhammad can make a mistake, you are out of Islam. Congratulations. You left Islam in the holy month of Ramadan. Brother. So, was Muhammad and his Allah, are they mistaken when they contradict themselves? The prophets, it says the prophets are of different mothers, but belong to one religion. Do you see it? And we showed you that Aaron and Moses are brothers from the same mother. So Allah and his prophet are mistaken, brother. They are contradicting one another. Uh-oh. Guys, today is the day. Today is the day that Muhammad receives the hammer on his face. We are bringing down the hammer on the Prophet's face. Yeah, we have 250 views, man. Thank you, guys. We can, without you, we cannot do this. Do you see how important today's live show is, guys? Do you see how important today's live show is? We just spanked Allah and proved to everybody that Allah cannot be God. And we proved that Muhammad is no one else but the prophet of Satan. Allah is Satan in disguise and Muhammad is the agent of Satan. Right? Muhammad is the agent of Satan. This cannot be God, man. This cannot be God. And when you as a Muslim say Muhammad can make a mistake, that means Allah automatically can make a mistake. Do you have any real Muslim? I don't want to waste my time with ultimate shirk, the wannabe Muslim. Is there any Muslim? I have Skype. My Skype is open. Call me. Only Muslims can call for now, guys. We will open the line, we will open the line for the Christians later, okay? Asadun Oasi, I challenge you to call me. Aren't you the one who is calling Muhammad is a liar? I challenge you to call me. And say on, on live on air, say Muhammad can make mistake. I challenge you to call me and say live on air, Muhammad can make mistakes. So Muslims will not stab you in, the, in your heart. I challenge you to go on the streets of Mecca, on the streets of Pakistan, any country that has Sharia, and dare to say Muhammad can make mistake. Let's see what will happen to you. I challenge you to go on the streets of Mecca and Medina. I challenge you to go on the streets of Pakistan, Afghanistan, and say Muhammad can make mistake. Let's see what will happen to you. Challenge. Make sure to record and put it on your YouTube channel and send me the link. Muhammad can make mistake, huh? <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. What about contradictions, guys? In chapter 3, I 81. And I know that uh, Mr. Ultimate uh, Shirky, Mr. Ultimate Fort, he loves this ayah. Because this one, according to him, speaks about the last messenger who is not Muhammad. You know, this, this Quran only Rashad Khalifa boy. He rejects Hadith, right? The guy rejects Hadith. He is a Quran only, but on top of that, he's also a follower of Rashad Khalifa. Contradiction in chapter 3, ayah 81. How Rob Christian? Another contradiction. How many contradictions do you have for us? Rob Christian, how many surprises do you have for us today? A lot, bro. Brother, take it easy on Islam and Muhammad, brother. Hello, Tippy Bear, iPhone 3G. How are you guys? Admins. Guys, don't forget to keep our admins in your prayers, okay? Don't forget because they're always doing an amazing job. Make sure to subscribe, smash that like button. 
<clears throat> click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live like today guys before we go there before we go there I'm out of water let us have a small drinking break coffee break guys and we'll be right back I better manifest some coffee Buenos días. Buenos días. Disfruta un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adiós. Adiós. Ah, now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. I better manifest some coffee. Hola, Juan Valdez. Buenos días. Buenos días. Disfruta un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adiós. Adiós. Ah, now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. I better manifest some coffee. Hola, Juan Valdez. Buenos días. Buenos días. Disfruta un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adiós. Adiós. Ah. All right, guys, we're back. I hope you got yourself some drink, some drinks too, because you know we need to keep hydrated. You know, sometimes you know we're so passionate to destroy this disgusting man-made cult and their disgusting filthy evil prophet of satan muhammad you know we need to think about our throat we are alive for 72 minutes without water we cannot do this guys my throat is itching already but you know it is what it is <clears throat> contradictions in the quran chapter 3 i 81 chapter 3 i 81 When we ask Muslims, were there any other prophets? Guys, pay attention. When we ask Muslims, were there any other prophets in the time of Muhammad? Muslims will say no. Muslims will say no. Right, guys? Were there any other prophets 1400 years ago in the time of Muhammad? Muslims all agree and say no. Right? Right? Guys, did you catch it? Forget about the Muslims in the live chat, guys. Please. Hi, most used Habibi Kifak. We have a dear brother again. Most used, it's a blessing, man, to have you here. One of our dear admins from the Paul Talk panel, the Paul Talk days. You know, it makes my heart, uh, you know, really warm to see my brothers who used to sit in one Paul Talk room together with me from that time, man. God bless you, my friend. God bless your wife, your family. Nice to see you here again. Most use was one of the admins who used to help me out in my own room. Right, because we used to teach like Christian Prince, like Zakaria Butros in our rooms back then. You know, we I, I didn't start yesterday, guys. You know, maybe people don't know that they think you know, you rob Christian, you're copying uh, Christian Prince. No, brother, you have no idea maybe who I am. People who know me, you know, people who know that how Christians from the Middle East, how what their style is in debating, we all. Or like Christian Prince. If you go to the Arabic section, guys, in Paul Talk, you will see Christian Prince number one, Christian Prince number two. Every Christian from the Middle East, because we suffered so much from Islam, right? They came with the sword and they forced us to convert. We don't want to convert. You have to pay jizya, which is mafia protection money. We don't want to pay jizya. They killed us and they took are women as sex slaves. So you will maybe understand why Christians from the Middle East are so aggressive 
like me, like Christian Prince, like Zakaria Butros. Yeah, I'm an Arab. I speak Arabic, brother. Brother, huh? Again, were there any other prophets in the time of Muhammad? Muslims will say no. Are you sure? Muslims, are you sure? How many Muslims here in the live chat? How many Muslims in the live chat say no? If there's a Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge, either you're going to call me or you're going to say no. Asadun Oasis says big no. We have a Muslim, he says a big no. Are you sure? <laughs> Let me co copy this funny guy. I think he's, uh, he saw his name sounds like a uh, Muslim from uh, Africa. Asadun Oasis. Oasi. Okay, sorry if I'm butchering your name, but anyway. He says a big no. Right? A big no. So guys, this guy says no. Okay, let's see. Chapter 3, Surat Ali Umran. Chapter 3, Surat Ali Umran, I 81. Pay attention, Mr. Big No. Big No. Pay attention, Mr. Big No. You, you, you. Mr. Big No. Big Nose. Mr. Big Nose. Pay attention. And remember, when Allah took the covenant of the prophets, guys, and remember when Allah took the covenant of the prophet saying, Take whatever I gave you from the book and hikmah, understanding of the laws of Allah. And afterwards they'll come, afterwards there will come to you a messenger, Muhammad. Afterwards there will come to you a messenger, Muhammad. What did you say? A big no. So here Allah took a covenant with the prophets and Allah is telling the prophets afterwards they will come to you. To who? To you prophets, a messenger, Muhammad. You just said no. You said no, a big no. Didn't you say that? But you just called Allah a liar, man. Uh-oh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You Muslims make my job much easier when, you know, when you throwing Allah under the bus. You just left Islam, man. Asadun, Oasi, you just left Islam. Can you read? And remember, when Allah took the covenant of the prophets saying, take whatever I gave you, blah, blah, blah. And then Allah continues. And afterwards, there will come to you a messenger. So, what are the names of these messengers in the time of Muhammad? According to Allah, there are messengers, prophets in the time of Muhammad. Are you calling Allah a liar, you idiot? Are you calling Allah a liar? You said a big no. Are you calling Allah a liar? It's in front of you, man. I want the names of these messengers. Master, thank you for the super chat. Muslims who said big no, big nose, Mr. Big Nose. I want the name of these messengers in the time of Muhammad. Was it Waraqa ibn Nawfal? Was it Omar? Was it Abu Bakr? Was, what does it say you idiot? Read, idiot. Mr. Idiot Big Nose, Mr. Nose, read. And afterwards they will come to you. So they will walk, they will walk, tick, 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 tick. They have legs, right? They will walk, <clears throat> tick, 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 tick. And they will go to Muhammad. Hey, Prophet Muhammad, brother. So the other messengers will say to Muhammad, Prophet, brother, we are messengers like you, brother. They will come to Muhammad, brother. Hey, brother Muhammad, I'm a messenger like you, brother. I want his name. Don't give me 10 names. I want just one name to make it easy for you and for Allah. You know, give me one name of a messenger like Muhammad in the time of Muhammad, like this ayah says. 
And remember when Allah took the covenant of the Prophet saying, blah, 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 blah. And then we continue. And afterwards, there will come to you a messenger, Muhammad. So I want the name of these prophets, these messengers. I want their names. Right here, right now. They will come to you, to you, come to you with legs, walking with legs, right? Maybe, maybe these people drove a camel, maybe with a camel, maybe with a donkey, <coughs> maybe with a uh, horse, horsey. <coughs> hey, brother, Mo Prophet Muhammad, I'm a prophet like you, brother. Salaamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum, Prophet. I'm a prophet like you, brother. I want his name. Ready made, thank you for your donation. God bless you. Ready made says, God bless you, RC. God bless you too. God bless your loved ones. Thank you. Um, Jesus King, what's the reference for 124,000? You know, forget about this, Jesus King. We are talking here about this ayah. This ayah destroys the claim of Muslims. This ayah clearly says, There will come to you a messenger. To you who? The prophets. Do you see it? Confirming what is with you. So the prophets have books. The books of Allah. They have in their possession books of Allah. And Muhammad will go to them. And he's going to confirm for them. And these prophets must believe in Muhammad. So who are those prophets? And how dare you to say no you Muslims. I want their names right here right now. I want their names. You Muslims say Muhammad is the final prophet. He is the seal of all the prophets. But chapter 3 ayah 81 says, There will come to them a messenger, Muhammad. Who are these people? Who are these prophets? This is a huge bust. Guys, copy this ayah, make a screenshot, let me give you the, uh, the source guys, let me give you the link, use it. Someone is asking me to show another translation, are you sure? <clears throat> no problem, let's see if we can find another one. You know what? I may, I'm going to make it easier for you Muslims. Let us go to another website. Maybe Rob, this website is false, right? Let's see. 381. Let's pick this one. I like Musan Khan. What about Musan Khan? Can you see it guys? I hope it's crystal clear for you. Is it big enough? Give me one if it's big enough. This is another translation. Moshin Khan, another translation. And remember, what was the last one by the way guys, just to make sure, let's see. This is Hilali and Khan, do you see it? Hilali and Khan. This is Moshin Khan. Alright, you can see it. This is Moshin Khan, a different translation. Same ayah. Same chapter, 381, do you see it? 381. Scroll down, here's the translation. And remember when Allah took the covenant of the prophets, saying, take whatever I gave you from the book and hikmah, blah de blah blah de blah yadi ya yadi ya and afterwards there will come to you a messenger confirming what is with you, you must then believe in him and help him. Do you see it? So it's talking about prophets who had a covenant, a contract with Allah, right? They took a contract with Allah. And if we read, it says, and afterwards, there will come to you a messenger, Muhammad, confirming his word with you. You prophets must then believe in him and help him, aid him. I want the name of these prophets in the time of Muhammad, right here, right now, Muslims. If you claim to know to be a Muslim and you claim that you are a follower of the Quran, 
I want the name of these prophets. Right here, right now. I want the name of these prophets in the time of Muhammad. Because you said there is no prophet. So are you calling Allah a liar? Any Abdul, where is Fifi? Where is Lili? Where is Mimi when you need their help, brother? Fifi? Brother Fifi? Are you there, brother? I want an answer, brother. Where is Fifi? Where is Farid when you need him? Is Allah lying here? Guys, this ayah is the final coffin on the cof sorry, the final nail on the coffin of Muhammad. This ayah is the final nail on the coffin of the fake prophet of Islam. Use this. And someone sent me a message yesterday to you to talk about this. Well, here you go. Your request is granted. And we spanked Allah and his fake prophet with it. So guys, in other words, I hope you are listening. Forget about the Muslims in the live chat. As we read it for you, we can conclude the following. Muslim scholars acknowledge that the messenger mentioned in Surah 3, Ayah 8 is Muhammad and no one else, right? That's what all the Muslim scholars agree on it. It refers to no one else but Muhammad. As can be noted, this conclusion is further substantiated in the translations that we showed you in the translation of Hilali Khan and Muskhin Khan. We showed you two translations, right guys? Give me one if you caught it. And, and if we go to the Hadith, forget about this contradiction that we mentioned earlier. It says, no prophet was raised between me and Isa. Do you see it? No prophet was raised between me and Isa. But here Muhammad contradicted himself again. Because it's Muhammad talking. Right? He says no other prophet is raised between me and Isa. But chapter 3, ayah 81, it's talking about prophets in the time of Muhammad who will come to Muhammad. Do you see it? So, who are the prophets, I want their names, who lived during the time of Muhammad to fulfill this covenant of Allah? That's question number one. Question number two, who were the prophets on hand to help Muhammad in his mission? Because you have to help him, do you see it? You must help him and believe in him. So who are those prophets who have to help Muhammad in his mission as the messenger of Allah. Who are they? Who, question number three, who were the prophets present at the time of Muhammad to witness his confirmation of their scriptures? Right? It says confirming us what with you. Who is Muhammad or Allah lying? That's question number four. Is Muhammad or is Allah or Muhammad lying when he, Muhammad said, no prophet was raised between me and Jesus? I know I'm shouting because I'm passionate. I'm shouting because this is the final nail on the coven of Muhammad, brother. I mean, look, man, I can't, I can't do what I, I can't help myself, man, brother. Brother. Any Muslim. <clears throat> One hadith shows two contradictions, exactly. We showed you that Muhammad lied, saying, all the prophets are of different mothers, which is a lie. We showed you already from the Quran that Aaron is the brother of Moses, right? And we gave him out of our mercy his brother Aaron, whose brother? The brother of Moses. And my brother Aaron is more fluent than me in tongue, is Moses saying. Allah said to Moses, we will strengthen your arm through your brother Aaron. Your brother Aaron. Muhammad said, all the prophets are of different mothers. You liar. You liar, Muhammad. 
You are lying, you so-called prophet of Islam. You are a liar. No, they cannot say that because the Quran claims that, that Aaron is a prophet. I, guys, please, you need to focus. Snow leopard, focus. This is Quran. Snow leopard. They cannot say it because Aaron is a prophet. Do you see it? If they say Aaron is not a prophet, they are calling Allah and his Quran liars. They are calling Muhammad a liar. So they cannot say it, Mr. Snow Leopard. When you say that Aaron is not a prophet, you're out of Islam. Bam! Who is lying? Allah or his prophet? Who is lying? Allah or his prophet? I want to know. That's my final question. Who is lying? Allah or his prophet? I want the names of these prophets, man. I want their names. Who are they? Because it's talking about the time of Muhammad. I want to know. Maybe, you know, some Muslims say, guys, let us be politically correct for a second. Some Muslims who reject hadith, right? Some Muslims who reject hadith, they will say, you know, Sahih Muslim is garbage. Quran only Muslims like ultimate shirk. But I want to know, I want to know who these messengers are. Who, who are these prophets, man? Who are they? Who come in the time of Muhammad? I want their names. I went, I want their names. I want their names, brother. This is a hadith, this is not Quran guys. All the prophets are of different mothers but belong to one religion and no prophet was between me and Isa, is Muhammad saying. So here Muhammad contradicted himself. He contradicted Allah and the Quran of Allah. Do you see it? Because here this is talking about prophets who, who will come to Muhammad. They will come to Muhammad. Do you see it? They will come to Muhammad, confirming is what with Muhammad. And Muhammad will confirm what is with them. Busted. Busted. Speaking from Cave Hira, Prophet of Islam just got busted. 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 Speaking from Cave Hira. 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 Do you see it? Uh, exactly, GX says 930s make it even more worse. We already discussed that, right? Chapter 2, Ayah 221, Chapter 5, Ayah 5, and Chapter 9, Chapter 9, makes it even more clear, GX says. Chapter 9, Ayah 30, the Jews say, Uzair, there's nothing called Ezra, Uzair is the son of Allah, and the Christians, all the Christians, the, the Christians say, Christ is the son of Allah. That's what they say with their tongues following assertions made by unbelievers before them. May Allah destroy them. Do you see it? So Allah will destroy you because you're associating partners with him. Right? So chapter 2 says, Do not marry mushrikeen from the Jews and the Christians, especially the Jews and the Christians, because the Jews say, Uzair is the son of Allah. The Christians say, uh, Al-Masih is the son of Allah. May Allah destroy them. Chapter 9, Ayah 30. Proves that the Jews and the Christians are mushrikeen. But chapter 5, Ayah 5 is, says, You are allowed to have nikah, to have sexual intercourse with women from the Jews and the Christians. You see how Quran is a book of contradiction, bro? Do you see? How the Quran of Allah is nothing but a huge contradiction. Yes, in the time of Muhammad, look, are you, uh, Dalili, are you stupid? Uh, Dalili, I'm not trying to insult you, man, but are you stupid? It clearly says prophets that Allah made a covenant with will come to Muhammad. They will come to Muhammad. Confirming is what with you. They will confirm what is with Muhammad in his hands. 
right? And Muhammad will confirm what they have. You must then believe him. How are they going to believe him if, if there are no prophets? How are they going to help him if there are not prophets? It's talking about prophets, right? Contradiction on the screen in front of you. How is Muhammad, his book, going to be confirmed if they can come to him? It says we will come to him. Are you, are you blind? Dalili, I think you need to go see a doctor, man. I think you need to go see a doctor because they will come to him. It says it. You know, it's not my business that you are stupid. Sorry to say, man. It's not my business that you are stupid. You cannot read, you cannot understand. Right? It's you who is deep in that rabbit hole. You are the one who is inside the matrix, not us. Either you're going to take the red pill or the blue pill. Neo, Neo. Maybe you've seen the movie. Neo, Mr. Abdul. Are you going to go for the red pill or are you going to go for the blue pill? Huh? We're going to show you how deep the rabbit hole goes, brother. Yeah, I like that movie in the Matrix, guys. Take the blue pill, man. Blue pill, brother. Blue pill, brother. Not the red one. Red pill, red pill. No, blue pill. Blue pill, brother. <laughs> you know, if you're a cipher, if you, you know, remember the guy who, you know, the, the coward, the scumbag, he took the red pill, right? He loved to be an actor, brother. I want to be someone famous. Let's say an actor, brother. So either you're going to take the red pill or you're going to take the blue pill. It's your funeral, brother. Red pill, realizing Islam is fake. Exactly, Dominus. If you take the red pill, you're going to realize that Islam is fake. If you're going to take the blue pill, it's a different story. Or was it the other way around? What was it, guys? Was the blue pill or the red pill? I can't, I can't remember. Anyway, you're confusing me, man. <laughs> the donkey pill. Um, light dark. Rob Christian, you want Muslim to convert into Christianity, then you stop insulting them. Who is insulting who? Am I insulting them? Or are they insulting themselves when they want to stay in this evil man-made cult? Who is insulting who? When you believe in the lies of Muhammad, are you insulting him? Are you insulting yourself? Who are you insulting? Am I the one insulting when I show evidence on the screen? Stop being a hypocrite, man. You know, some Christians, you know, some Christians in the West, to be honest with you, and a lot of Muslims, because of these stupid Christians, right? Muslims think that Christianity is a kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. You know, it's a hippie religion. My God, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ flipped the tables on people's head. Jesus Christ used the whip. Jesus Christ called people vipers, brother vipers. Right? Right? You want us to be politically correct, then that means this channel is not for you. Go, just go. If you don't like what we do, go, man. You want to be a hypocrite? Go. My Lord is not a hypocrite. If the truth is insulting, so be it. Thank you, love for Jesus. That's exactly what I'm saying. If you cannot handle the truth, then my channel is not for you. All right? Yay, yay, or nay, nay. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Truth is above being political correct. Not going to take that. Any Abdul? Any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call us live on air? Let's see if Rob Christian is lying, bruh. Any Abdul? My Skype is open. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian.
I know Bruno, Bruno Christian, I know. You're a great brother of mine, man. You're a dear brother of us. Don't worry, my friend. We were not talking about you. Any Muslim who has the courage or the knowledge to call me live on air, we are open. My Skype is open. We are open for business, brother. And the business is truth. Any Muslim? No Muslims? Guys, I want to play a video, a small video, from a Muslim. And today is the day, since we are spanking Islam, we're going to show you the heroes of Islam. This guy claims to be a uh, friend of Farid, right? He's, he's a friend of Farid, Fifi, yes, that Fifi, yeah? We're going to spank him, and I hope that Farid is going to enjoy it. All right, guys? I hope Farid is going to enjoy the spanking of his brother. And I think he, you know, he's maybe his, his boyfriend. I don't know, guys. It's not my business. But let me play that video. All right? So if you have a set, headset, put on your headset and make sure to focus. Guys, forgot about the Muslims in the live chat for now. You need to focus with me, okay? Put your headsets on and let us play the video. This is the Abdul, guys. This is the Abdul. I don't want to mention his name because this guy, you know, he's a coward also. By the way, this is the one... Guys, people who do not know, this guy here, he is one of the guys who sent me a death threat. Yes, he's a jihadi. He sent me a death threat, right? This is the boyfriend of Fifi. Yeah, the Bosnian kid, exactly. Right? That's him. Listen carefully what this Abdul has to say. It's a very small video clip, okay? When you have the verb salla yusalli, salla yusalli uh, in yeah. the same form, uh, with the preposition, its meaning is going to change. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we determine what the meaning is going to be? We have to go to the etymology of the uh, verb. This is how it works for p basically pretty much all of these verbs. So the etymology of the word verb salla uh, has to do with burning up something. And that has to do with actually removing sin. So in other words, yusalli ala means to remove sin upon someone. Or okay, guys, you hear it? When Allah is doing salah together with the angels, they are removing sin. Let me go back a little, just to sin. make sure. So in other words, you sal and that has to do with actually removing sin. So in other words, you salli ala means to remove sin upon someone. So guys, when Allah prays on Muhammad, Allah removes sin. You heard it, right guys? You heard it, right? You heard it. When Allah prays, Guys, every Muslim, you, you see every Muslim has his own version of Islam. Every Muslim, <laughs> every Muslim, when he speaks, he has his own version of Islam. So when Allah prays, this is his chapter, all right? Surah Al-Ahzab, chapter 33, ayah 56 that he's talking about. In Allah wa malaikatuhu yusalluna, they pray on, right? In Allah wa malaikatuhu, his angels, Allah and his angels, they are doing salat, yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayu alladhina amanu, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Right? That's how you read it in the Arabic. Either any Muslim to uh, say, Rab Christian, you cannot read Arabic, brother. Your Arabic is bad, brother. Right? So, okay, you hear this guy, guy, right? What did this guy say? When Allah prays, that means, that's what this boyfriend of Fifi said, when Allah prays, that means Allah is removing sins of Muhammad. When Allah is praying on Muhammad, on the Nabi, that means Allah is removing the sin of the Nabi. Guys, let us be political correct. That's not what it means, you know, because it's, it's still praying. It's praying, right? When I pray, when I pray to God, when I pray, I pray to my God. He's my creator. 
But when Allah prays, to who Allah prays? You know, it's Salat, it's praying. According to this guy, when Allah prays, Allah is removing the sins of Muhammad. Okay, let us go with that, guys, no problem. No problem, we will go with you, Mr. Bosnian kid. You Bosnian boy, you boyfriend of Fifi. Let me go with you. Guys, focus, please. Give me one that, to be sure that you are listening. Give me one for me as a confirmation that you are listening. Let me spank him so Farid can enjoy the spanking. Give me one, please. Give me one. Okay. All right. All right. So you're listening, guys. Okay. According to this kid said, when Allah prays, that means Allah is removing the sins. He said it, not me. Okay. I understand that. Let us go with you. But angels remove sins too. It says Allah and in angels is doing the praying. They are the ones who are praying. I understand that Allah removes sins. But do angels remove sins too? What? Are you saying that angels in Islam can remove sins? Are you saying that Allah shares? Are you telling me that Allah shares His divine actions with His angels now? But, which means removing sins. Did you see what how He made it even more worse for Allah? Instead of fixing it, he made it even more worse for his Allah. Instead of doing damage control, he made it even more worse for Allah. So it seems that not only Allah, according to this Bosnian kid, not only Allah removes sins, also the angels. I'm, I'm going to make it even more worse. How Rob Kishin, more worse than this? Yes, because it says, Oh you that believe, oh you Muslims, oh you Muslims, you Muslims, you need to remove the sins on him too. <laughs> so we have Allah who can remove sins. We have his angels who can remove sins. Sharing, Allah sharing his divine attribute with his angels. And also all the believers, when they say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they are also removing sins of Muhammad. It seems that this Allah man, this Allah shares his divine attributes with all the Muslims and the angels. So you see guys, when Muslims talk, when Muslims talk, they make it even more worse for their Prophet and Allah. And, and they say, they say, Islam, Islam brother, is not pagan brother. That's their, their that's what they said. Bro, that's what they said. <laughs> Try not to get crazy guys. Try to understand this stupid religion. I think in 2020, if you're in this religion, you must be really stupid. Else you cannot believe in this stupid religion, man. And do you see how every Muslim has his own version of Islam? Every Muslim in 2020 has his own version of Islam. Because every time we talk about this ayah, every Muslim has his own version for it. His own explanation for it. You heard him, right? Don't say Rob Christian, it's you talking. You heard the guy. Right? You heard Abdul. Let me go back. Burning up something. And that has to do with actually removing sin. So in other words, you suddenly Allah means to remove sin upon someone or another. <laughs> Did you catch it, guys? You must be really crazy Bosnian, man. You are, um, you, you are saying loud and clear that Allah is sharing His divine attribute, which is removing sin. He's sharing this with the angels and with all the Muslims. TP Bear, you don't like it? <laughs> Stop, brother. You are, you, you're killing them, man. You're destroying this evil cult, man. And this is Ramadan, brother. This is the holy month. Easy on them, Rob Christian. Go easy, brother. Guys, and this guy, Muslims are proud about this guy because he's one of these people who think they can spank Christian Prince. It's, he's part of that team, guys. 
You remember that six hour long video about the apostate prophet? He's one of those guys. He's one of them. And he said he's going to teach Christian prince how to read Arabic. Yeah, and Muhammad is a sinner, brother. Muslims say Muhammad cannot, does not have sins. Muslims claim that Muhammad do, does not sin. But wait. Muslims, your heroes are going down, man. Your heroes are saying that Allah and his angels and all the Muslims remove the sins of Muhammad. When Allah, you heard him, right? When Allah prays, he removes sins. Okay, these people are praying to these persons, the angels and the Muslims. They are all doing praying. Are you saying they can remove the sins of Muhammad? Any Abdul, 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 Abdul. We are live on air. Call me on Skype, brother. My Skype ID is the Arab Christian. Help your brother, Bosnian boy. Help him out, man. He's one of your heroes, man. And he's getting spanked. The Abdul is getting spanked, man. Muslims are proud about this kid. This kid claims to teach Christian Prince Arabic, brother. Can you imagine? In other words, you suddenly Allah means to remove sin upon someone. <laughs> I cannot. In other words, you suddenly Allah it. means to remove sin upon someone, or in other words, to bless them, to give them good, right? Yeah. So, guys, I understand. I understand that Allah. I understand that Allah is the one. Right? I understand that Allah is the one who is blessing, doing the blessing. But it says the the angels are blessing too. Wait. Since when do angels bless someone? Isn't always the blessing come from Allah? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You say it's blessing, but we see that the angels and the Muslims send blessings. So you see, it seems that Allah is sharing two, not one, but two divine attributes. Right? Not one, but two with the angels plus humans, i.e. the Muslims, right? Not one, but two. How to? Removing sins, that's number one. Removing sins, as you heard the Muslim, not me. And the second one is bless Muhammad. So Allah shares two divine attributes, which are removing sins. You heard Abdul, not me. It wasn't me speaking, you heard him. We played it many times. And second, number two, bless Muhammad. Islam, brother, is not pagan, brother. You heard it, guys. Islam is not pagan religion, brother. Clearly, Islam is not pagan, right, Muslims? Chapter 33, Ayah 56. Wow. Guys, um, I need to take a small break, and then we will take calls from Christians. You know, call of nature, guys, what can we do? Be right back. I better manifest some coffee. Hola! Juan Valdez! Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Disfruta un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adios. Adios! Ah, now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. I better manifest some coffee. Now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. I better manifest some coffee. Hola, Juan Valdez. Buenos dias. Disfruta un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adiós. Adiós. Brother Rob, did you wash your hand and take ablution? Yes, brother. Don't worry, brother. You know? We are back. I'll be back. Any Abdul? Abdul, any Abdul? 
نوع عبد ويلز يا 3 تايمز برا ايفريثينج از 3 تايمز برا اني عبدول سن اوف عبدول وي ار لايف اون اير برا ها نو اوكي جايز ذا لاينز ار اوبن فور ذا كريستيانز هو وانتس تو كول If there's a Christian who wants to call, since Muslims don't dare to call the Rob Christian, they have no courage to call me. Christians are now allowed to call. <clears throat> Do you have any Christian who wants to call? My Skype is open. Anyone? Send me a message and I will call you back. if it's not working or you know okay we have a brother i think he's a christian let's see let me take this call hello hi brother hi hey you're live now go ahead my friend how are you brother i'm i'm good it seems that we are doing good right it's it's a nice show <laughs> sounds fine yeah, thank you my I, friend i appreciate I, it god bless i have a question brother Yes. The the Muslims claim there is in the Quran the Big Bang. Is it that's the that's the claim? <laughs> But uh, I have let a me, question. Let me let me let me let me let me laugh. <laughs> I have okay, a I, I, <laughs> I have a question for the Muslims. Yeah. Uh, how come they try to fix the Quran with the atheist Big Bang? Yeah. And the second question is how the Big Bang works in six days on the back of a whale. Yeah. Well, I don't know, bro. Uh, you are asking me. I'm not a Muslim. I'm a Christian. I don't believe in this nonsense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know, but... Uh, so I have, I have no idea how to answer this question. Maybe, maybe, maybe you can follow the logic. I don't know. Maybe you can help me. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I try to, un bro, I, I try I'm, to I'm, understand this cult. <laughs> I, I'm trying to understand this cult for 15 years. <laughs> I am doing this for 15 years and I still don't understand it. Are you asking me? <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe you you have to answer. I don't know. But, I don't uh, know, boy. Uh, you know, uh, it's... I'm I'm confused about this religion too, like you, bro. I can, I'm confused how there are people still in 2020 who believe this disgusting code. It's it's for me. Every time I'm done, I'm doing live show. I've talked to Christians or Muslims. And I close my stream, I uh, and I'm thinking, how we are doing live streams almost every day. We are showing everybody on the screen, on the mic. We are explaining with perfect details that Islam is nothing but lies of Muhammad, and still, still they don't catch it. I don't, I don't understand. It's, it's madness. It's madness. Brainwashing, But brother. I have, I have an, another question. Maybe you have to answer for this. Uh, the story mm. about Noon, the whale. Yeah. Are there other sources than uh, the tafsir from Ibn Abbas? Are there anything from Al-Tabari, Qurtubi? Bro, to be honest with you, I didn't go into much of that because there are so many things that we can bust Muhammad's balls with it, you know, spank him and spank his religion. With it. But I know that Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas, you know who Ibn Abbas is, guys? The, guys? The, cousin, the cousin of the prophet. Yeah, but it's not only the cousin. Guys who are listening, according to Islam, Ibn Abbas is the ink of the Ummah. Do you know what that means, the ink of the Ummah? When he says something, he's not mistaken. I mean, when he says something, it's like it's, it's written, right? What he says, it's correct. That means he is also the walking Quran. Yeah, Muhammad said it. He's the ink of the Ummah, right? Okay, so there's no, we, we don't need any other uh, sources. When Ibn Abbas says the yeah. earth is on the back of the whale, then it's, that, that's the truth, according yes. to Islam. Yes, of course. Ink of the Ummah. I mean, Muhammad was crystal clear. Ibn Abbas is the ink of the Ummah. He's the Sheikh. The Sheikh, right? The so Sheikh. It, the Sheikh. Yes, the Sheikh. So, the Sheikh. what do you want more? <laughs> no, nothing. It's clear. I just want to call in to uh, say thank you for the show. So, It was a bro, great if teaching. Yeah, thank you. If there's a Muslim who, who calls Ibn Abbas a liar, even if you're Shia, even Shia cannot say Ibn Abbas is a liar. Sunni? 
and Shia both agree Ibn Abbas is a great Sahabi. Right? They can, even Shia, you know, Shia love to curse Aisha, Abu Bakr, Omar, right? Yes, you know yes, that. they call, they but curse Ibn Abbas, any, any, any. Yeah, but Ibn Abbas, no, no, no. Ibn Abbas, his family, right? His family. The, the Shia, the Shia believe in the Al Hulbayt, in the family, or? Yeah, so Ibn, Abbas, Ibn Abbas, his family. Is, yes. Yes. So there is no discussion about that point. No, 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 no way. Don't let them fool you, my friend. All right. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. God bless you and your family and the Appreciate audience, it. your followers. And Thank I you. see today, I think it's the new record over 250 people yeah, in the, the chat. Last time, last time we had 340, my friend. Ah, okay. Sorry. Yeah. I, I missed the last. Yeah. yeah. So, last you time. know, really, I, I cannot thank our people here who are listening and watching. I can thank them, you know, because without you guys, you know, we cannot do this. And guys, you don't need Rob Christian. You don't need Christian Prince. You don't need David Wood. We are all replaceable. You all, you only need Jesus. I need Jesus. Right? But if, if the Holy Spirit wants us to teach, then so be it. Right? We only need Jesus. Nothing. We else. only need, amen, amen, man. We are all sinners. Anyone Nothing here, else. anyone here who can say, I'm not a sinner, you're a liar. You're a hypocrite, right? Yes, no. of course. Yeah. Of course. All right, so, my friend. Thank you. Thank you very much, brother, and uh, have a nice day. You too. You too. Thank God you bless. for calling. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Any other callers, guys? Any other callers? <clears throat> I love you too, uh, Hiccup Berg. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm, do we have any other callers? <clears throat> Guys, I hope that you benefited from today's live show, guys. I hope that you are benefited. I hope you took notes. If you want to find the sources back, guys, <clears throat> go back to the live show or you need to wait a couple hours. We have a dear admin. His name is Phil Herrera. After a couple of hours, he always posts the links in the comment section so if you want to find the links you can find them in the live chat because we always share them the admins share them but if you for some reason the live chat is not working for you you cannot replay the live chat you can find them back in the comment section under the video right okay wait a couple hours and phil herrera and others put the links there too all right and any muslim who dares to claim that rob christian is a liar I challenge you to call us and see if I'm lying on it. Guys, make sure to subscribe to our social media, right? Help me to help you. If you want to support our full-time ministry, we have a Patreon account. You can um, support our ministry through Patreon. Patreon.com slash Rob Christian, right? Is there any Muslim or any Christian who wants to call, guys? Anyone? Okay, I missed a call. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me take this call. Okay, let me take this call. The person whom you're trying to reach is currently... Oh, okay. That was funny. Let me try once more. Let me try this. Mr. Fulabi, I'm calling you back. Mr. Fulabi. The person whom you're... Okay. For him, it's not working. I don't know. The God of None. Hey, brother Ron, how you doing? Hey, brother, how are you? Brother Jacob, right? Yes, can you hear me? Hey, yes, man, you're alive and there. God bless you. Welcome. How are you, bro? Okay, um, I'm doing Hello. good. I'm doing good. I was sitting back a listening long time, to the long show. Yeah, long time no see, man. Yeah, yeah, it's been a long time. I've been um <laughs> doing some debates myself uh, on the yeah. Kenny Bomer show. Yeah, you, yeah. Um, anybody who wants yeah. to go, uh, go to my channel. Yeah. Drop the channel. I got some new yeah, guys. Up. Can you, but my anyway, friend? Can you drop a comment in the comment? Uh, sorry, in the live chat, 
so people can help you out, support your channel too. Can you do that? So people who are listening can support you. Guys, this is a great brother. He's also debating Muslims and he has a YouTube channel. Help this brother out too, okay? So drop okay, a comment I'll... later and you know, so can. What's your name again? Just... What's your name on YouTube channel? The false prophet. I just put subscribe to my channel in the comment section. Okay, guys, help the brother out, please. Okay, go ahead, my friend. What do you want to say to us? Do you like okay, today's? Uh, do you like today's yeah. uh, spanking, my friend? Yeah. It's very good. Yes, it's always good, man. Like <laughs> that's that goes without question. Good. But uh, you had um, you had highlighted a contradiction, yeah. and um, I wanted to uh, add my little you know two cents to it. Um. There's another contradiction uh, along the lines of what you were speaking about. Yes. When Muhammad says that he is only commanded for the good, there's a hadith that says every Muslim have a jinn attached to them. And they asked Muhammad, they said, oh, yeah. Yeah. what about you? And he said, yes, me too. But yeah. um, Satan does not um touch me because Allah protects me from his hand and he only commands me for the good. Oh now, wait, wait, there's a contradiction there, right there. Chapter yeah, 22, ayah 52. Yes, it's a contradiction because, yeah. because because Allah, right? Allah in the Quran says he he made a promise, Allah in the Quran, he said I am going to protect my followers the i.e. the Muslims including Muhammad from Satan. But chapter 22 let me show it on the screen, bro. This is very important. Chapter 22, Ayah 52 says that Muhammad received divine, re uh, sorry, <laughs> satanic revelation from Satan himself, brother. So we have another contradiction. Never did we send a messenger or a prophet before thee, but when he framed a desire, Satan threw some vanity, satanic, satanic revelation into his mouth. Uh oh. Right. <clears throat> and um, mm -hmm. not only that, not only in the Quran can we find a contradiction, but we can also find a contradiction in a hadith because there's a hadith that says that every son of Adam is touched by Satan at birth. But Muhammad said in the other hadith that Allah protects him from the hand mm -hmm. of Satan. And when it in says. In the Quran, too. Not only hadith, in the Quran, too. Allah yeah, says yeah. he protects his followers from Satan. But exactly, how is Allah protecting his followers from Satan? While Satan, the moment you are born, including Muhammad, you are touched by Satan. Where is the protection? Right, exactly. and, and, and it says that he only protects, um, <clears throat> he, he only protects Jesus and the son of Mary, but Satan touches every other child at birth. But I find that a problem because Muslims will also tell you that Every child is born a Muslim. Okay, mm -hmm. so if every child is born a Muslim, then why does Allah not look out for every child that's born a Muslim? And why is he allowing Satan to mm -hmm. touch these Muslims? Yeah. And they are they are innocent, but they'll yeah. tell us they don't believe in original sin and all of that. But yet your Allah is allowing um Satan to touch these innocent Muslim children. Yeah. Not only that, there's another hadith that says, you know, I think it was a conversation between Aisha and Muhammad, if I'm not mistaken, saying that even children, right, who are innocent can enter hellfire. Remember that one? Right. Yeah, the hadith, because um, you're talking about when yeah. the funeral was taking place and the child had died and Muhammad was like, Oh, Aisha, don't speak so soon, because she was thought like the um the child was going to be amongst the birds of paradise. Yeah, yeah, and and this is something else I wanted to um say, Rob. This is the main point I, I called in about. Most people are under the um the false assumption that that uh Muhammad in the cave of Hira that he was mm -hmm. awake during that time, but actually it was a dream that was taking place, and I have the um I have the proof from Ibn Ashat, and it says that he was dreaming when this was taking place. I can read it real fast if you if you will allow me. Yeah, you see, let me let me just, you know, step by step, my friend, just a second, because we mentioned a hadith and I want, want to put it on the screen, right? I, I already did. It says the woman requested the prophet, please fix a day for us 
So the prophet preached to them and said, a woman who three children died would be screened from hellfire by them. Hearing that, a woman asked, if two died, the prophet replied, <coughs> even two would screen for her the hellfire. Those should, children should be below the age of puberty. Wow. See right. this? Disgusting. It is what it is, man. This is Islam. What can we do? <laughs> it's just crazy religion. Can you pull up that um, reference from Ibn Ashak that's, that, that's talking about Muhammad when he was in the cave, when he was sleeping, and when he had the, um, when Gabriel supposedly came to him. But like last week, you, you, yeah. you pointed I, out. I, I, I don't have it. I don't have it right here. I have to go, you know, to other sources. I don't have it at the moment, but every okay, Muslim I, knows this, this, uh, you know, every Muslim knows this story. That, you I know, can. when he said, Lamas any jinn, right? A jinn touched me. Yes. It's from the seer. Yeah. I can read through it real quick. I mean, I, the main yeah, part. Go ahead. Go ahead, my friend. It's a, okay, it's the main point. If everybody listening, it's the main point that I'm trying to show that this visitation was from Satan because mm -hmm. it's another hadith that goes along with the um the Sira of Ibn Ashak about the dream that Muhammad had when mm -hmm. Jibril supposedly came to him. And it says, and this is from Ibn Ashak, when it was night on which God honored him with his mission and showed mercy on his servants, thereby... Gabriel brought him the command of God. He came to me, said the apostle of God, while I was asleep with a coverlet of brocade whereon was some writing and said, read. I said, what shall I read? He pressed me with it so tightly that I thought it was death. Then he let me go and said, read. I said, what shall I read? He pressed me with it again so that I thought it was death. Then he let me go and said, read. I said, what shall I read? He pressed me with it the third time so that I thought it was death and said, read. I said, what then shall I read? And then and this I said only to deliver myself from him, lest he should do mm -hmm. the same to me again. Mm -hmm. OK, then it says um, he told him what to read. He said, read in the name of thy <laughs> Lord. <laughs> yeah, he said, read in the name of thy Lord who created who created man of blood, coagulated. Read thy Lord is the most. Beneficent who taught by the pen taught that which they knew not unto men. Yeah. So I read it and he departed from me and I awoke from my sleep. And it was as though these words were written on my heart. Now, this is the heavy part that I'm about to read. Now, mm -hmm. to back up this hadith, um, I mean, to back up that reference from Ibn Ishaq, you can go to um, the hadith. I'm pretty sure you can pull this, this hadith up, um, Rob Christian, the one about where Aisha said the commencement of the inspiration came in a form of dreams in a hadith that goes into when um when um, um Muhammad was in a cave of Hira. With Waraka, that story with Waraka, right? That's the one. When um yeah. the angel and why are you pulling that up? I There's have nothing called hadith. angel in the entire yeah, hadith. Yeah. yeah. Just it's not, uh, it's yeah. like you said last week, you said you pointed out Namus. Yeah, it's Namus, yes. exactly. I hope so, this is the one. Let me see. Let me make it smaller. If it begins with the commencement, mm. it, it should say because because this was a dream that Muhammad was having, mm. and there was a and when I drop, it's a hadith, and and this was a dream that he was having, and it was like a nightmare to him because in the hadith that you're pulling up, he was like, I, oh, he was like, oh, Khadija, oh, Khadija, what's wrong with me? Cover me, because he me thought, that, yeah, he thought that he was demon possessed or something, because this was like a nightmare to him. And as you see in the um the Sira of Ibn Ashaq I read, he only said he only read what this angel or what this demon kept telling him because he wanted the thing to release him, as I as I read. So it wasn't like he did it willingly because he just wanted to uh, to you know abide by the command. He did it because he was panicking and he wanted this thing to release him because it was squeezing him like a yeah. demon. Yeah. So um so and and the key thing here is that it was a dream, as you as I read in the Ibn Ashat, it was a dream and he woke up from it. Yeah. You want me to go ahead and read the um the main hammer part that's gonna destroy it? It's a it's a hadith that I wanted you to pull up on the screen so yeah. people can use this. It says with what I've been for, right? Uh that that one too, but it's the main point, Hadith, that I'm that I'm using to show which that. Which one? This... Which one? How does it sound? Uh can you give me a okay. couple words? 
Okay, it's like this. Um, narrated by Abu Sayyid Al Kudri, the Prophet said, "If any one of you sees a dream that he likes, yeah, let's see." With a bad dream, right? That one, I think, if I'm... Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is one, this one is for Abu Qadada. Maybe it's a different one. Abu Sayyid al Kudri, A-L-K-H-U-D. The prophet said, if, if you if you type in, the, if you go to sunnah.com and mm -hmm. say, the prophet said, if any uh, one of you... I got it, sees I got it. I got okay. it. Okay. Can you read it? Yes, yeah, sure. The <laughs> prophet said, if any one of you sees a dream that he likes... Then it's from Allah, and he should thank Allah for it, and narrate it to others. But if he sees something else, i.e. a dream that he dislikes, then it's from Satan. And he should seek refuge from Allah from its evil, and he should not mention it to anybody, for it would not harm him. So if, if did Muhammad <laughs> like the dream? He didn't like it. He thought he it was like a nightmare. It. So, so according to Muhammad's own words, because it's Muhammad saying, right? Muhammad is the one saying. Right. Muhammad didn't like the dream, so it's from Satan. So it's not from, from Jibreel. It's not from Allah. Did you catch it, guys? Did you catch it? Since Muhammad didn't like the dream, and according to Muhammad himself, if you don't like a dream, then it must be from Satan. That's the conclusion. Take yeah. beer, brother. Allahu Akbar. And look, and look, to add insult to injury, um, brother Rob, he yeah. didn't even follow his own commands because he said. You were supposed to seek refuge um, from Allah. He didn't seek refuge from Allah. He seek refuge in Khadija. He was like, oh, yeah. Khadija, cover me. He didn't seek any refuge from Allah. Yeah, exactly. So, he, yeah, he also went against his own um, commandments. And here's another thing that I, I, I saw within the, um, the Hadith, the one when he told Khadija, um, cover me. Just, she was, just a second, my friend. I want to give this uh, link to our audience who are watching. Guys, save this link. <coughs> According to Muhammad's conclusion, right? Because Muhammad didn't like the dream when he was getting, you know, squeezed like a grape. That means it was not Jibril. There was nothing called Jibril. It's a demon. It's Satan <coughs> himself. Because Muhammad didn't like it. Do you see how Muhammad busted himself? Very good point, my friend. Go ahead. Yes. And and in that hadith about the one when Khadija led him to <clears throat> Warika, yeah. here's the problem with it. Khadija told Muhammad that Allah, she was um, encouraging him saying Allah yeah. is um, something she had said. But here's the problem. Yeah. Actually, I want to pull it up because I want to actually read yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I will put it on the screen too. You know, yeah, but this, this is very important. Yeah. This is this the is one. Very, the commencement. Yeah, the commencement of the divine inspiration. That's the one, yeah. So it's go. you know, it's very long hadith, but you know, in, in, in a nutshell, Muhammad used to go to Cave Hira. Khadija was giving him food, right? To go there and stay for many Many nights, right? Many nights there. It's in front of you, right, guys? So, Khadija was the one who was hoping that the divine inspiration would come to me and that Muhammad would become a prophet. We read it for you last time, right? When we discussed this topic. It was Khadija's wish for Muhammad to become a prophet. It's always Khadija. Always Khadija who created Islam. It's always been here. She has the money. She has the power to make Muhammad a prophet, the first prophet of the Arab nations, right? And then Muhammad says, you know, Muhammad didn't like it. The so-called angels started to <laughs> squeeze him hard, releasing him, and then again squeeze him. Iqra, Iqra, ma nabi qari, I cannot read, read. <coughs> and he continues, you know, this action with him, this squeezing, this choking. And if you continue, you know, Khadija, he went to Khadija and said to Khadija, Dammi Luni, cover me, cover me, right? And she right. starts to cover him, and then later she takes him to her cousin, Waraka, right? And look at his name. You know, does it ring a bell? Waraka ibn Nawfil bin Asad 
بن عبد العزى اه 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 ذس جاي از ا كريستيان سادني ذس جاي از ا كريستيان دليلي دليلي ويت ذيرز ا جاي ذس كاورد ان لايف تشيس روب كريستيان يو جوت باستد اند ات واز ايزي نيكست ون دليلي يو يور بروفيت اند يور الله كان نوت باست مي هو ار يو مان يو ار ا كاورد ستي ان ذا تشات ستي ا كاورد رايت ستي ا كيتن You and your Allah cannot bust me. Who are you, man? Okay. So, Coward. can, I, can yeah. I say something? Yeah, I no problem. Be, Go I ahead, my friend. The part, okay, when he was leaving the, the cave, I'm going to start at that part. He was like, he was like, cover me, cover me. They covered him till his fear was over. Yeah. And after that, he told her everything that had happened and said, I fear that something may happen to me. Yeah. And the, the problem is, is when Khadija said, never. Yeah, how, all- how, how did Khadija know? How did Khadija know when she said never? Did Khadija receive divine revelation? Did Khadija see Jibreel? How can she say never? How is she so sure? Amazing. Right. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. And, and, and another part to add to that is, she was like, never by Allah will never disgrace you. But here's the key that yeah. point everybody need to grab hold to she said never by allah now she was talking about allah but not the but not the post cave of hero allah she was yeah. talking about the pre-islamic allah because that's the only allah bro, can she- i add something to what you just said here's yeah. the problem guys yeah. i know many atheists who are very nice right they have are, are they have good reactions You know, with many people, they are very sweet people. They are atheists. They don't believe in God. Does that mean that these people are prophets, can be prophets too? You see the logic of Khadija? According to Khadija, Allah will, you know, it's never a demon. According to Khadija, never, she says. You are very nice. Allah will not disgrace you. I mean, look at this logic of Khadija. Does that automatically mean that Muhammad must be a prophet? How do you know? Where's your proof? Did you see Jibreel? Khadija? Did you get divine revelation too, like your husband, to know that this cannot be a demon? You see the logic? You see right. the double standard? <laughs> Go ahead. Right. And and do they see the, the point I'm making about Khadija is saying, never <clears throat> will Allah disgrace you. This is yeah. the point everybody needs to um, get. When Muhammad was in the cave of Hira, you got to ask the Muslims, what version of Allah was he praying to? And what Allah was Khadija speaking of? Khadija yeah. knew nothing about you no know, monotheistic Allah. She's yeah. talking about the Allah who was the, the Lord of the Kaaba. And when Muhammad was in his cave, the 360 idols of Islam We're still being stored in the Kabbalah at this time. Yeah, bro, so when I- before you continue, let us, you know, because some people maybe not, never heard this before. Look, what our brother is basically saying, guys, this is very important stuff. Muhammad used to go in seclusion in the cave of Hira. Do you see it, guys? Where he used to worship Allah alone continuously for many days. Did he receive revelation before Jibril came? Guys, are you catching what is happening here? Did Muhammad receive divine revelation before being visited by Jibreel? Muslims, do, don't you see the problem here with this hadith? This is Sahih al-Bukhari, eh, guys. Guys, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. My friend, do you, understand, um, you, you know what I'm meaning, right? You know what I'm trying to say, right? How, how did Muhammad worship Allah? Right. Well, he didn't receive divine revelation yet right how is this possible that's what muslims, that's what I'm muslims think what... use your brains how is it possible that muhammad didn't receive divine revelation yet yet he was worshiping allah this right. means we can conclude that allah is the same god that the pagans used to worship it's exactly. the same pagan allah same And... pagan god Muhammad, that, what did Muhammad do? He only removed the other uh, idols. He kept the right. idol Allah, the moon idol Allah, and removed the others. But it's the same pagan God. 
Same pig in one idol, Allah. Allah is not the God of the Holy Bible. This is proof. The proof is in front of you. Same right moon idol. It's right in front of them. I mean, and it's you, in front I of mean, you. It's right in front of your eyes. I mean, yeah. and you got to understand too, like any Muhammad's father, they say his name was Abdullah, which means slave of Allah. His yeah. father went to hell. Both of Muhammad's yes. parents went to hell. Exactly. So like any of today, you get your religion from your parents. They pass it down to you. Yes. So if Muhammad's father went to hell, that means Muhammad learned his pagan Allah from yes. his father. Yeah, no and and you said own. a very important thing, my friend. Let me add what you said. Guys, pay yeah. attention. This gentleman is very smart, okay? He he mentioned the name of the father of Muhammad, so-called. We don't believe that's his father, but you know, that's off topic. Abdullah, Abdullah, the slave of Allah, was the name of the father of Muhammad. Guys, did you catch it? The father of Muhammad used to worship Allah, the moon idol. It's the same God that Muhammad was worshipping inside that cave. Before getting divine revelation from the so-called Jibreel. Did you catch it, guys? Very important point. Did you catch it? Did you hear it? Dalili, I think he has poo, poo in his ears. He's not listening. Dalili, focus, Abdul. Abdullah, ya Abdullah. Focus. It's your religion, not ours. Right. Yes. Yes, and... um. And and then he was like when he was he was like in fear he was like cover me cover me yeah. and he said um he said that he feared that something may happen to him so that that also proves that his mental state he was questioning his mental state yeah that so when we say that he had a you know he had a phobia they talking about Islamophobia but here your own prophet had a phobia he was yeah. the original Islamophobia yeah, exactly he had the original phobia of the so-called message that came from Allah. He had yeah. he was fearing the first Islamic um um insp inspiration in the cave of Hira. So they can now start saying that Muhammad had the first Islamophobia attack. Exactly. And not only that, bro, we know the story continues with Waraka, right? Mm -hmm. If we continue reading, it says, Muslims, how many times have you heard Muslims? You have debated Muslims, right, my friend? Yes, plenty of times. Don't, yeah. don't Muslims say, do not, do Muslims not claim? And here's the one million dollar disaster. Here's the one million dollar question. Muslims <laughs> say the gospel is corrupted, right? Yep. Okay. Let us see what this hadith, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, guys. This is Sahih. <laughs> this is not Da'if. This is Sahih, brother. Da'if. Very authentic. It says that Waraqa bin Nufal, Right? Is the cousin of Khadija. Right? Do you see it? Her father's brother, the uncle, paternal uncle, her father's brother, who during the pre-Islamic period became a Nasrani. There's nothing called Christian. I'll give you a thousand dollar if you can show me the word Christian. It's Nasrani. And look what it says. Waraka. Waraka. Guys, pay attention, please. Waraka used to write the Gospels in Arabic. As much as Allah wished him to write. Let me remind you again. Do Muslims not claim that the gospel is corrupted? Yeah, that's what I say. <clears throat> but you see that the gospel was in the hands of Waraka. Waraka was translating for Muhammad from the Aramaic to Arabic. Yep. You see it? So how, when and where was the gospel corrupted? When and where? By who? Clearly in the time of Muhammad, the gospel was uncorrupted because we see that it's in the hands of Waraka. Do you see it, guys? Right. Do you, do you have it? the, um, I'm not looking at the screen right now. Uh, do you have the the um, the um the narration by Aisha that's up on the screen right now? Uh, about what exactly, my friends? Uh, narrated by Aisha, the commencement of the divine inspiration to Allah's messenger was in the form yeah, of it's, truth. This is, this is narrated by Aisha. This is, the hadith is on the screen, my friend. Okay, all right. So this that's is the, the hadith. same. Yeah, yeah, it's the okay. one. It's the one. Yeah. Because in that hadith, he asks, um, he asked uh, Khadija. He was like, "What is wrong with me?" He did. He was yeah. when somebody saying that's the key point too. I wanted to, to draw about. Yeah. When somebody is saying, "What is wrong with me?" They don't yeah. have an insurance from God. Yeah. God, if God would visit you, He would make you feel assurance that it was Him. He's not going to leave you in doubt. That's yeah. we don't worship a God who leaves you unsure. When God speaks to us, 
it brings something like a confirmation inside of you. But yeah. that's not the case of Muhammad. And something else I want to add to what you just said, um, yeah. Brother uh, Krishna. Not only did did uh, uh, Warwicka translate the, the scriptures, but it says by the will of Allah. So now yes. this creates another problem for the Muslims. Are exactly. you saying that Allah will Warwicka to translate corrupted scriptures? Yes. Allah wants, and, guys, are you hearing? Guys, if you are struggling for the Christians, Christians, give me one, please. Forget about the Muslims in the live chat for a second. Give me one to, sh to make sure that you are listening. Christians, whenever a Muslim dares to claim that the gospel is corrupted, show them this hadith. We gave you the link. Let me give you the link again. If they dare to say the gospel is corrupted, put this hadith in their faces. Bookmark it, save this hadith, guys. Take a screenshot, do what you have to do. According to this hadith, the gospel was in the hands of Waraka. Do you see it? He was translating the hadith, sorry, the gospel from the Aramaic, because Waraka knew Aramaic, from Aramaic to Arabic. So the gospel, the original gospel was in the hand of the Waraka and Muhammad. Muhammad had access to it. Muhammad had it in his hands and Warqa had, has, had the Gospels in his hands. So how dare you Muslims to say? How dare you to call Muhammad and Warqa liars? Do you see it? Use this guys. Whenever a Muslim says the Gospel are corrupted, show them this hadith. So they can start to tap dance. If you right. want the Muslims to see them dance around, jump around you, you want them to see them tap dance like Michael Jackson? Ow! Right? Show them this hadith. Because also, if they if they are saying that the the verses are corrupted, then they are also saying that Allah gave His divine will to Waraka. Yeah, and Allah, are you saying that Allah is commanding Waraka? I think Waraka is another uh, prophet, bro. Don't right? You, did you agree? Allah wants Waraka. <laughs> Allah is giving divine revelation commands to Waraka to write a corrupted gospel. Is that what you're saying, Muslims? Are you calling Allah a liar? So guys, point number one, if they attack the gospel and say that the gospel is corrupted, give them this hadith and quote this highlighted part. And when they keep doing that, they then ask them, are you calling Allah a liar because Allah is the one who is wishing, who is commanding Waraka to write the gospel in Arabic? Is that what you're saying, Muslims? Are you and calling Allah a liar? And Guys, two points. We made two points, right? And something else to go along with that. Exactly. Okay. Now, not only what Mr. Rob Christian said, but also, are you Muslims saying that your claim that Allah was visited by Jibril, the basis for that claim is found in a corrupted gospel? Because that's the only other place where you find the name Jibril mentioned. And, and the man responsible for you believing that it was Gabriel is Warwicka. So if you say that the, that the gospel is, is corrupted, then you are saying that your basis for saying that Muhammad was visited by Gabriel came from a corrupted Bible that was, that was, that was. Then, then Allah himself is corrupted, right? Allah himself is corrupted. Is, if yeah. he's commanding Waraka to write, guys, this is very important. If Allah is commanding Waraka to write down corrupted gospel, then Allah is the one who is corrupted, sending down Co commands to write a corrupted gospel down. Uh, that proves that Satan and Allah are the same person. Satan and Allah are the same person. Again, Allah and Satan and Satan and Allah are the same person because if you're going to say that the gospel are corrupted, then Allah is the one who is make, causing this. Bam! I, I wanna, that's, that's true. And I want to say one more thing. Don't you think that this would make Warwicka a prophet? Because... Khadija took, it's like this, Muslims, if if, if it wasn't for Warwicka, then did Warwicka never became the Muslim. He never became a Muslim. So that means your prophet's seal of approval came from a non-Muslim. So that means Warwicka died and went to hell. He never became a Muslim. Yes. You see what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. that also means that 
Warwick, you 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 in a they in a another limbo because you got to say to yourself, is Warwick a prophet? How can you say <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. How, how can you say it is his word? How can we say his words? Yeah. Are a hundred percent if he's not a prophet? But they, guys, give me one. Okay. A hundred percent. My friend, are you still there? Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still there. I for some reason my live stream went offline. Guys, are you still with us? Refresh, please. Just a second. We had a buffering for a second. It was what? Just one second. Can you imagine? Just one. Maybe. Satan Satan came Maybe. in between, guys. It was Satan yeah. who was delivering satanic verses to Muhammad. Don't blame us. <laughs> <laughs> Satan. It was Satan. <laughs> so, guys. Okay. Make sure to refresh, guys. Okay. Good, good. We are back. Um, okay. Go ahead. Sorry for Is interrupting. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Well, okay. Now Muslims are in a predicament because they have to say now, since Warika is the one responsible for Muhammad's seal of approval for being a prophet. Now the Muslims must say, does this make Warika a prophet? Because if you say that Warika is not a prophet, mm -hmm. then you can't take his word that Muhammad was sent, that Muhammad was visited by Jabril, because this is not coming from a prophet. Yeah. So they, they got to pick and choose. Was Warwick a prophet or was he not a prophet? Bro, according, yeah, faith. not only that, according <clears throat> to Islam, when Allah talks to you, when Allah sent you divine inspiration, are you not a prophet? Are you not a Rasul? Exactly. So that means Allah <clears throat> made Muhammad and Waraka prophets at the same time. Did you catch it, guys? So Muslims claim that, and Islam claims that Muhammad is the last Rasul. He's the seal of all the prophets. But wait, Waraka is getting commands from Allah. When you get commands from Allah, Allah is the one commanding Waraka to write Gospels in Arabic. The Gospel is uncorrupted. Allah is... Right, is Writing down Gospels in Arabic tr translation. It's a translation, right? Arabic translation. So are you saying, Muslims, that Allah and Muhammad are liars when it says Muhammad is the seal, Khatim al-Anbiya, he's the seal of all prophets? It seems that Waraka is also a prophet. Right? Yep. Do you see how this hadith, this entire hadith, is destroying Islam? Guys, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. And and Mr. Ron right. Chris, they need, to, they need to ask them. They need to ask themselves this question too. To the Muslims, let's listening. When Khadija was reaffirming Muhammad, what Allah was she speaking of? Mm. I, I, Aisha. Now, at Muslims, be honest. <laughs> Did Aisha worship the pagan Allah and the three daughters of Allah before the mm. cave of Hira? Yeah. She, so what Allah was she speaking of? So the Muslims got to ask themselves this question. Yeah, exactly. How can Muhammad receive a true divine inspiration while worshiping a false pagan Allah? Yeah. That mean, and that proves why he conjured up that demon who came to him and was squeezing him because you can only receive a false visitation from yeah. praying to a false god. So yeah. it all makes sense. Yeah. It exactly, all makes bro. Sense. Exactly. It all because because this was a demonic visitation, mm -hmm. and that's all I really wanted to call in to say. Thank you, and thank you for you know allowing me to you know express myself. And bro, it's always what? a blessing to have you on the call. Keep calling yeah. us, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and next time I have another funny hadith I wanted sure. to share just for sure. laughs. That, yeah. that's keep something. keep bringing the nuclear bombs with you that we can drop on Muhammad's face, brother. Thank you. Okay, I will Appre appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you, my friend. God bless. All right. God bless. Bye. 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 You see, guys, how easy it is. <clears throat> Do you see how easy it is to bust Muhammad? Guys, Muslims always claim that it's an angel who came to Muhammad, right? We we explained this before, but let me explain it again for the people who didn't hear it before. Muslims always claim that it's an angel, but there's nothing called angel. Waraka is asking, right? Waraka asked, Oh my nephew, what have you seen? So Waraka is asking Muhammad, what have you seen? And Muhammad is explaining what happened to him in Cave Hira. 
how the, this creature was squeezing him, choking him. Iqra, iqra, right? My Nabi Qari, I cannot read. Iqra, I cannot read, right? And he keep squeezing him like a, a grape. Then Waraka said, after he hears the explanation, what happened to Muhammad, Waraka's response is, this is the same Namus. Wait a second. Angel, guys, in Arabic, is Malak. But here, Waraka is saying Namus. Waraka never said, this is Jibreel, this is Malak. No, he said, this is the same Namus. This is, for, this is added. You see, this is Bid'ah. This is adding. Everything that you see between brackets, right, like this, is not in the Arabic. So Waraka said, this is Namus. Let me prove it to you. Let me prove it to you in the Arabic. Let me go there. Let's see. Let me make it smaller, guys. Hmm. A very long hadith. <sighs> they played, I think they played with uh, with this website, man. It didn't look like this before. They did some changing. So now it's even harder for me to find it. Bear with me, guys, okay? Mm. Okay, here, this is, here it is. فَقَالَ وَرَقَ Guys, let me make it bigger. I hope there are Arabic speaking people who can confirm. Are there Arab are there Arab speaking Christians with us? Anyone in the chat? Do we have Arabic speaking Christians? Hello? Okay, yes, someone says yes. Please confirm. Maybe I'm lying. Invisible for Christ. Maybe I'm lying. You can confirm, right? Fakala waraka. What does it mean? Waraka said. Waraka said, هَذَا النَّامُوسُ Do you hear it? Namus. Waraka is not saying this is Injil. Uh, sorry, this is Malak. This is Jibreel. No. Waraka is saying, فَقَالَ وَرَقَ هَذَا النَّامُوس This is the Namus. الَّذِي أَنزَلَ عَلَى مُوسَى So this is the Namus that is being sent down on Moses. What is Namus? What is Namus? It's the Mosaic Law. Mosaic Law. Which are the 603 laws. How did the Mosaic Law, the 603 laws, how did they become an angel Muslims? And where is Waraka saying angel Malak? So, you see the confirmation? Invisible for Christ, Arabic speaker, says correct. Do you see it? So Rob Christian is not lying, right guys? I translated the correct way. Not hummus. No, 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 not hummus. Namus. <laughs> this is the law. Most use, you know Arabic too, right my friend? This is the law. Exactly. The Mosaic law, to be specific. Because Moses received the Ten Commandments, but he also received the Mosaic law, the 613 laws right to be specific which we call that the mosaic law that the israelites and the israelites alone had to obey you don't obey the law you get punished so it was a law punishment system right guys how did this law become jibreel muslims you are in trouble again did khadija see jibreel no did Waraka say this is Jibril and see Jib uh, uh, Jibril? No. Waraka only said this is Namus. Hadha Namus, Waraka is saying. Faqala Waraka. Hadha Namus. And Namus alladhi anzala ala Musa. Muslims, you have been scammed. Muslims who do not know Arabic, you have been scammed. You have fallen a victim to this Arab man-made cult. There is no Jibreel. There is no angel. Yeah, how did this law become Jibreel, guys? There is no Malak. Where is the Malak? Namus. Yeah, this is Nam yeah, Namus. Let me copy the word. 
Let me prove it, guys. If we go to Google, Prophet Google, peace be upon him. Right? Yeah, so we can play the word for you. Maybe Rob Christian is lying. Who knows? Google Translate. Let me put it here. Oh. What happened? Copy. I put exact <laughs> the link in there. It's not. This is Arabic. Do you see it, guys? Namus. Namusu. You hear it? Namusu. Namusu. Uh, you see here a small thing on top, right? That's the vowels. It's the same, right? Namusu or namus, same. Namusu. Namusu. What does it say, guys? Uh oh. Uh oh. How did how did this become angel, angel Jibril, brother? Please help me, man. The law. I am the law. Have you seen uh, Judge Dredd? I am the law, brother. How did the law become Jibril, brother? How did the 603 laws became Jibril, brother? You liars. Shame on you. Muslims, you have been lied to. And the shiuch and imams and ustaz are nothing but liars, brother. Right? You hear it? Law became angel. The 613 laws became the angel. In it's only in Islam, brother. And the laws were for the Israelites. You know, Muslims always say the Jews got their own scripture. The Jews get their own laws. The Christians get their own scripture and laws. How did the laws of the Israelites became suddenly for Muhammad? And how did this law become Jibreel? How did this Israelite law become Jibreel? Idiots! Shame on you for lying to us for the last 1400 years. Shame on you for lying to your Muslims, Imams. You see how Muslims, Muslims, do you see how your Imams are the ones who are keeping this disgusting man-made cult alive? They are the one who, who you should fire. Wake up, man. Uh, the light of truth, nowhere. Where? Tell me. Yeah, the Imams are devil advocate, man. Islam is nothing but a satanic man-made religion. Stealing from here, stealing from there. And then we see that the mosaic law that is only for the Jews and the Jews alone. Suddenly it's sent on Muhammad. How is this possible, man? Well, Islam claims that every, every prophet, every messenger get his own laws, his own scripture. The Torah and the law was sent to Moses. The Injil, according to Islam, is sent to Isa. How did the Israelite law, the 613 laws, came to Muhammad again? I thought that the Quran and Islam came to Muhammad. You see it? Any Abdul? Do you see how destructive today's Life show is, guys, if you really, guys, if you really, really claim to be a Christian, help me to help you. Download our videos. Guys, don't do it for me. Do it for the truth. And who is the truth? Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. All right, guys? Don't do it for me. Do it for the truth. Do it for the truth because only the truth and only the truth matters in this world. We're not here for ourselves, guys. Download our videos. Share it around. If you like some parts, download. You know, last time, guys, a Christian told me, Rob Christian, why are you doing live shows, man? Why are you doing this, man? Why are you not, uh, you know, cut it in parts, my friend? I'm doing live show. Two hours now for now. Two hours at least. How, how many hours are we live? Very long again, right? Almost three hours. Two hours and 15 minutes, guys. You want me after three hours to go I, as if I don't have a life. Why are you so lazy? Why do you want me to do more than I already done? If you want to help me to help you, download videos, cut them. I know guys, I know that you love Christian Prince. I know you love David Wood. 
But love us a little bit too, right guys? I don't think everything that Christian Prince or David would do is what we do. Because we complete one another, right? All the warriors in Christ complete one another. You can see it as a big team, right? You know, guys, I can't thank you enough. Without you, we cannot do this, right? How many uh, viewers did we have today again? Uh, around 240, right? We had two, uh, around 240 again today. But guys, I'm not asking you to teach. I'm not asking you to do what I do. But at least do your own job. Don't ask me to do my homework for you too, guys. Come on. 260, wow. Amazing. Amen, roasted pancakes. We are here for the truth. And who is the truth? Jesus himself is the truth. Who is the gospel? Jesus himself is the gospel. He is the good news. Muslims, we don't hate you. We only want to share the truth. And by our love, with our love, because we love you, we expose your satanic religion. Because we love you, we have to expose your satanic religion. We don't hate you, we are not haters. But we hate false teaching. We hate satanic religions. This is why we are doing what we do. Please come back home to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Guys, if you want to support our full-time ministry, you can support us on Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, guys. I love you. I think we had amazing calls today again. We had an amazing topic. God is good. Keep us in your prayers. Keep our admins in your prayers. I love you guys. Jesus is Lord. He is the King of Kings. His name above all names. Muslims, you need to wake up. If today's live show is not enough proof, then I don't know what proof means. We shared so much information today. I know it was a long live show, guys. For some people, maybe you want to go sleep. I know. It's addictive. I know. If it's not addictive, then I would not be with you here, guys. I would not spend my own private time with you. But because it's not for us, we are not doing this for ourselves. You don't need me. But if, if, if it's the plan of the Holy Spirit for me to teach, then so be it. You don't need Rob Christian. You only need Jesus because I need Jesus. All right, guys? I love you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Download our videos. Smash that like button. Subscribe. May the peace of our Lord and Savior be with you. Stay safe from the coronavirus, from the Quran virus. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Lord willing, we will see each other again in a future live show like today. I love you and God bless.